is what I was wanting. Fucking do. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Ezra Veil. I liked your photo. I liked your photo. Nice hair. Thanks for buying the hat. David Off, thank you for the 24 months. Paper Pranath. Thank you for the 11 months. Big 11. One month away. Uh, not a lucky shot. Thank you for the 20, 25 months. Uh, Dylan Sharp, think of the 40 fucking nine. We're five minutes away from the Stony Sony State of Play. How's everybody doing? Hello, good to see you. Uh, Grio, do you think they'll announce Silk Song 2? Uh, yeah, I do. What a stupid fucking question. Yeah, I think they. I think Silk Song 2, Silk Song 3, Silk Song 4, The Return, are all getting announced today as part of a deluxe package. That's why they've been waiting so long. Because they've been making the sequels. Looking tan, brother. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Actually, I think I'm going to get a little too much sun to be TBH. Let me see if I can turn this down and hopefully bring it down to normal. Um, state of play. I'd rather have a plate of steak, if you know what I mean. Everyone knows what you mean because you there was no subtlety. <laughs> that's, that's not a that's not a euphemism. You just want a plate of steak. That's um, yeah, fine. I guess. Uh, how about we talk about the state of the union right now? Uh, didn't Trump get found guilty on thirty four counts? And it's still probably going to win the election. <laughs> That's what, what, a, what a country. We got a crazy country, bro. Uh, we got a real uh, banana republic. And that's cool because I like bananas as a player of uh, Bloons Tower Defense and Monkey Ball. Bloodborne will be here, I believe. What are you guys hoping for with Bloodborne? Are you hoping for Bloodborne PC port? Or are you hoping for Bloodborne sequel? Or both? Uh, I don't believe there'll be a sequel, but I do believe there may be a PC port. Could be a PC port. Sony has been leaning into the PC port thing, okay? Because they tried it, and it made them a fuck ton of money. Uh, all of the games they put out as a PS5 to PC port made a ton of money. Uh, which is good because Sony, unlike Microsoft, is not big enough to ignore the concept of money. <laughs> they like they need the money. They like the money. They need the games to make money. Um, so I think they'll do it. I think they'll do it. Precious monies. It's funny that like we're at such a fate. Like you know, we used to hate the greedy corporate pigs for wanting money too much. But now it's like some of them are so rich as they're beyond that. <laughs> That's like, they're at an even scarier level where they don't even care about any of the money, at least in the short term. Um, so they can do even more crazy things. Uh, he's live before the dead of night. I am indeed, but only for this uh, react. The Lumpler, think of the 17 months. It's an ick to make money as a corporation. <laughs> gross gross you do money actually there's a great uh do we have time i don't think we have time unfortunately remind me afterwards there's a great um silicon valley clip where he talks about profit uh hey big a just spent 500 dollars on the ari skin from a third party site i can't wait for it to arrive you spent five thousand on it so you you get a 10x bonus just because you're a big fan of faker just got the 500 dollar skin. It's been banned every game I've played so far. What, are you sad facing me? Are you hoping for sympathy? 
You knew this would happen going in. No, I'm not. I'm not. Oh, poor baby. Oh, you spent $500 on Ari and <laughs> the other people in the community don't want to cheer or lift you up and say, wow, my rich king. Wow, cool skin, bro. Uh, Wes, nine seven seven seven. Thank you for the uh, thank you for the prime. You know what the art of riots going to do next is they're going to add a little extra button you can pay to unban Ari. <laughs> like every game you can tip ten dollars to take Ari off the ban list. Uh, and then someone else can spend 15 to reban her. And then that auction is going to make Riot fucking fat racks. Atriox signature fizz skin. They said they're doing one of these Hall of Legends every year. Now, I understand they got to give Faker the first Hall of Legends. I get it. He's got four world championships. We get it. It's a little bit overdone, but okay. But next year? Do you understand? Next year, I feel like that's... Who who is right behind Faker in the Hall of Legends of all League of Legends history? It's Atrioc, right? It's me. So, um, I feel like it's going to be our, uh, Faker this year, me next year, Hall of Legends Fizz skin. It's going to be $15,000 per year. <laughs> it's a rental. You don't get to own it. You don't get to own it. It's fifteen k a year. You rent it. <laughs> Okay, it's a subscription service, um, and it will have my signature on the fizz. It'll have the audio line of me saying, shark! <laughs> it's just the fisherman fizz skin, but they changed five pixels, and then it says, shark, in my voice. Um, That sounds pretty good. Honestly? Honestly, folks, it sounds pretty good. Honestly, I think we're on to something. Uh, Trump was convicted, yeah, very recently, of all 34 counts. I don't know. I don't even know how this plays out, to be honest. I don't know. I, it's so funny. I don't even know if this is good or bad for his campaign. <laughs> like, this, <laughs> my, this might be like a martyr-type boost. We're in such a crazy, crazy, crazy... Oh, it's starting. All right, here we go. Um... Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, the Sony State of Play! It's 38 seconds. I didn't see the timer. <laughs> A little bit of a do. So, um, you guys come here often or what's uh, crazy weather we've been having? Crazy weather we've been Hot? Is it cold? I don't. Really loud. Ten, eight, six. I count every other one to save time. Four, two, zero. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? A cold. Say to play begins in thirty seconds. <laughs> countdown to a fucking countdown, Sony. What are you, a fucking Atrioc pre-chat title? Jesus Christ. Ooh, I'm excited. I love these. I love these shows. As long as they show some good shit. Sony's always been good about gameplay. In these shows, they learned like six years ago to just stop talking and just show games over and over. And that's what they're doing right now. This is an possible mature game. Oh my god, it's Crash Bandicoot Fuck Simulator. <laughs> Alright, Quack, we demonetized everyone, the video already. I'm Asad Kizilbash, head of product at PlayStation Studios and head of PlayStation Productions. I'm here to welcome one of the newest members of the PlayStation Studios Do family, Arabic Biowalk. This team brings together some of the most talented developers in our industry with an incredible pedigree in the online multiplayer space. Arabic captions, yeah, I'm learning. First game, Conquer, last year. And today... They're revealing gameplay captured in engine on PS5. But first, here's an extended. Well, I thought you said you were going to do no yapping. Some of the cool characters you'll find in the Concord Galaxy. What Enjoy. is Concord? Brand new? I'm 
not a big fan of live service games because they inevitably end with you having to spend five hundred dollars on a fucking skin. Firewalk. Crater City. This looks like um. That, what's that? Frosty City Builder game. Bro, Sony, you're already screwing me here. You open with talking head into not actual gameplay. We have Guardians of the Galaxy at home. Oh, you found us. It was a spontaneous creative decision made after years of careful research. Being really Holy old, it's not graphics, bro. It doesn't count as research. Almost dying is the best way to learn how not to die. Besides, it worked, didn't it? How much longer for the upload? Uh, a few more minutes. Hey, start up. Okay. Try the hot sauce. You'll like it. Trust me. No, no, no. Do not trust him. No. <laughs> Where is this coming from? It's coming from you back on the ship saying, trust me, we're professionals. We'll stick to the plan. We can this do this. This is very okay. Guardians pill. <laughs> that was not the plan. Technically, it was a plan. It just wasn't the same plan that we started with. I can if already... We leave with this blue hey, Mark. <laughs> we will. We will. I feel like this is going to have the most annoying the um, overlay dialogue uh, when you're running around. No one moves. We'll be taking this <laughs> off your hands. Uh-oh. This? Took a wrong turn at that Fun. place. Watch out. Get the power up. <laughs> well, this has gone wrong. Oh shit! Is that no scope? Oh, good shot. Wow, he can turn into diamonds. He literally has diamond hands, and he's kind of like an ape in a way. He's GameStop personified. Oh my god, he can make liquid fireballs. How bad is it? You're still mad at me? This is like an AI wrote Guardians yeah. of the Galaxy. <laughs> like, this feels trained on a couple One Marvel up. movies. This is you. Uh, I just need that robot to be like, I am brute. <laughs> Goodbye. a very dishonorable way for us all to die. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. Nobody's dying dishonorably. And also, we're bringing this back with us. Okay. Hey, hey, hey Mark. What are you doing? Getting us to the rendezvous point. <laughs> <laughs> that seems... Perhaps we should have let go also. One off. Do not dare. Well, we were supposed to stick together. If you let go, I swear me. I will be. Oh, look, there they are. Hi. What the? Genius. God. I am glad you avoided a dishonorable death. Almost dying is the best way to learn how not to die. Or something. I knew this was going to work. This wasn't the plan. No, it just wasn't the one we started with. <laughs> He's All done right. it again. He's done customer. it again, folks. He's a wise cracking leader so you, like, who always plays by his own rules. Oh, yes. Or whatever? Hey, Mar. Hmm? Don't joke about something like this. Our next job is somewhere with less scaffolding. We'll have no scaffolding. Zero scaffolding. I, I promise. <sighs> We were apart for so long. They get along. They, they, they got quirks. They got quirks, but they get along. Do you know what I'm saying? It's a friendship. Concord, baby. Game of the year. Concord Game of the is year. a 5v5 first-person shooter set in the vibrant oh sci-fi universe wait, it's, of the it's... Concord Galaxy. <laughs> in Concord, <laughs> from the moment you log on... Bro, it's not even a story-based game. It's a fucking Overwatch clone. ...galaxy as free gunners. 
Free gunners are those lucky enough to be free to roam. <laughs> Not even a fight. Take high jobs There's not even a story. You spent fucking 30 minutes on the fucking Guardians of the Galaxy ass yeah, story, and it's a fucking Overwatch clone. Free gunning. It's hard work, but it's our work, and we don't take Bro. it for granted. Being a free. The one part people liked about Overwatch was the characters, and you're gonna try and we're gonna remake Overwatch, <laughs> but with worse characters. <laughs> what do you have left? And also the cinematics were good for Overwatch. Let's take Overwatch, remove all of the charm, put it on console. It's a money printer. Why not? Is that a person? And in the wilds. It's anyone's game. Oh, those graphics were insane. If that was... You won't survive on your own. Can't wow. This might be in contention Finally, for the worst watchable eSport of all time. <laughs> I would not want to fucking watch this. Uh... We risk our lives every day to do the job. All the way. Time to show them the big guns. That's it's kind of bad timing, isn't um, isn't Valve making their this own six v six style, you know, Taking hero based job. shooter pretty soon? Face any enemy. I gotta be honest with you, the leaked footage didn't look that good to me though for that either. I might just not be Overwatch pilled. Maybe this is, a, maybe if you're an Overwatch fan, this looks great, and you're like, holy shit, finally what I've been waiting for. With a free gunner but for me, this looks North Star. bad, bad. And together, we're going to make our mark on this galaxy. Uh, damn, look at that headshot. Concord. At least it's got a very unforgettable name. <laughs> the crew is gathering. Would you like to join us for it? At least it's got a name you Concord, won't soon really forget. The strengths and background of our team to make a tight, well-balanced FPS that feels great to play. We focused a ton of our attention Bro, Sony, and our this tech is... on building a strong gameplay foundation of tight core movement, precise visceral Dude. shooting, and expressive ability. Bro, do you remember when Sony would open up immediately with just a sick trailer, then go to another trailer, then go to another one? They would just do like eight sick trailers back to back, no talking. What what are we doing here? What they, they, I always praise them for that. The characters really pushing the possibility space the... of two different characters colliding. It's all about creating opportunities for improvisation. That's where we can get out of the way and let players find their own magic. We also have abilities that are meant to have impact beyond direct combat. Deployable gear that can persist throughout a full game. So whether that's multiple rounds of a mode I or multiple it. respawns across a match. There are healing pads, bullet blocking domes. There's healing pads. Traps. I take it walls, back. Fucking coordinated teams can color me the fool, okay? I didn't know there was healing pads. We've got As a gamer, that perks my interest. I'm leaning forward. And what you casuals Every might understand is you can stand on those pads and get health. And wide okay, you can recharge your abilities. Every week when you log into Concord, you will be welcomed with a new cinematic vignette that will give you a chance to see our characters off the job. They will feature ongoing narrative this arcs that everything. grow the characters' <laughs> stories and relationships and unpack the broader Concord galaxy. Why are you kissing a tchotchke? We're excited to share that we'll be hosting a pre Damn, they spent so much time July, on that story to not have it be a story game. Launch on August 23rd. There we go, baby. Concord! Concord fans, rise up! We are many, we are strong. If you guys don't like Concord, shut up and get out, all right? Because you guys don't get it. I'll be playing this gay game every day. Every day of my life. Okay. Cool. What do we got next? This game's... Oh, PC version. Okay. All right. Good game. You seem like a calm and reasonable person. Are you? A calm and reasonable person. I mean, just a great game, obviously. We don't really want war. 
Do we have Kratos? I should just wait War is coming. for PC versions the now. Winter leads to Ragnarok. I stopped playing this because it's such a pain to hook up my PS5 to the PC. You will die, Kratos of Sparta. Death can have me. That scene was great. When it burns me. <laughs> <laughs> NVIDIA DLSS! Yes! Tricks up his sleeve we haven't dared to consider. We have guests! They're too fast! Look out! The DLC included! Fate only binds you if you let it. Do what is necessary. I watched your bot of the game today. I think the first day I played this game is one of the most fun single player gaming days I've ever had. It was a blast. The first, you know, five hours I put in this game, I had a great time. And then the second I didn't have so much fun, and then the third day I couldn't set it up, so I just didn't. Um, well, the first day was great with that first boss. Soldiers the first day ruled, and then you hit the puzzles. No. Oppress the people for personal. Pain. I wasn't turned off by the puzzles. I was turned turn off by the fact that food. when I was working on the puzzle, there would be a character every time being like, "Hey, what about Perhaps that? Did you, the the Did you think about stepping on the switch? Did you think about stepping on the switch and using the ice?" Men are powerless at the feet of the divine. And it's like, uh, well, they've taken all the fun Not out of it for so. me. <laughs> Someone must act. I don't mind being stuck on a puzzle. I've played many games where I'm stuck on a puzzle. I don't like being told what the solution is. What is this? What is this? This is like, um... Dynasty Warriors, yeah. This is this a new one? Dynasty Warriors is a great formula. It's a cool idea to play as a god tier soldier. Wow, interesting. That looks kind of that looks kind of hype. That looks kind of hype. Okay. Momo. TBD, I but I think I was dreaming. It wasn't a dream. Mm. Is it a good you rental really game? Yeah, that's for good. Rental. Oh my god, we're really in Mirrorland? The path of a stylist is never easy. So true. So are you ready for it? Ready. We're ready. Ready. Anime waifus, cute cats. This game has it all. Ladies and gentlemen, gaming is forever changed. Oh my god, the waifus turn into the cats. Platforming, cannons. Already better than Concord. Oh my god. Don't ever besmirch Concord in my presence. I can't tell if this is fucking Pokemon Snap, Harvest Moon, Final Fantasy, or... <laughs> or, you know, a Banjo-Kazooie type platformer. What am I, what am I... Oh, it's just a Genshin? It's a Genshin expansion? Pre-ordered 20 copies? Good call. Is it you who pursues infinity? Infinity Nikki. Or is infinity awaiting you? Oh, there's a real story. You can tell it's for serious gamers. <laughs> Stars. Oh, trailer, trailer. Back to back. Shoot. Okay. I have seen the miracles you so Now, made. this appeals to people that like Dark Souls games, so now I can... Judge it as a real game. The towering shadows vanished into the mist. I pray for their now a trailer for the boys. <laughs> all that came were inferior shades. Okay, I mean I do like this game so far. <laughs> I'm honest with you. I find this to be very cool looking. The graphics look good. Whoa. The setting Mortality. looks cool. These essences I can't help but be won over. Treacherous hands. The way you would emiss. 
Ceres. Grand dust of forgotten Damn. miracles. It's crazy how um <laughs> This looks awesome. <laughs> If you give me a crazy boss enemy with good voice acting, I will always be... Wait, this looks badass! It's crazy how Dark Souls just won Remember, the industry. Elden Ring no matter what happens, really flipped everyone on their head. Not betray this world. Ballad of Antara, a brand new? It's just funny because like when Dark Souls was first being made... Um, you know, they wanted to cancel it. They hated it. They, they, uh, and now it's won them over. That looks good. That looks good. A new IP. I'm, I'm very excited for that. We'll see if the reviews are good, but. I thought I could be a hero and break the curse. What is this? VR? But I was a fool. Dude, the problem with VR games like this is they look so badass, and then you play them, There's and it's like no you have to press a button to teleport forward. The gods that walk among us thirst for you death. never get to move like you think you would in. He did say among us, chat. This could be a fun stream game, though. Low key. Poison in my veins begs me to kill. <laughs> me too, buddy. Oh shit. <laughs> okay. Okay, that looks kind of fucking sick. That looks kind of sick. The power of our god is immeasurable. Those look like fun things to do in VR. I thought I could be a hero. I see. I wonder how he moved there, but and whether or not that was annoying. The forsaken lands. <laughs> All right. Damn. Okay. Two for two. Monsters do. I just like games with big monsters where you hit them with swords. I'm actually so simple. I'm actually so simple. Um. Caught. You caught me. Hey, Shrek, Sorry if someone mentioned it. But what about the Trump verdict? Oh, it's a perfect time to talk about it. Right in the middle of this trailer, Trump was <laughs> guilty on 34 counts. Just announced. Thanks for bringing that up. Good time. Good timing. Uh, what is this? Another VR game. Ooh, a creepy one. Oh, alien. Very simple trailer. Alien Rogue Incursion. PSVR 2. I assume a while from now, because that trailer... Wow, this year? Okay. Probably won't have more to show. The last one was scary as hell. I played that on stream way back in the day. The alien... Hi, everyone. I'm Sean Benson. Again. Isolation? I'm back on State of Play to introduce more um... exciting titles coming to PlayStation. Starting with a highly anticipated PvP shooter, playable soon on PS5. Concord? Again? Oh my god, Concord is quaking in their boots. Marvel's making something. <laughs> we are All realities converge here. Destiny awaits. A Marvel 5v5 shooter? Okay. Am I crazy or is this also like Overwatch? <laughs> Isn't this just the Concord killer? <laughs> Bro, Concord is not gonna sell a single fucking copy. Healing power. Uh Okay, it's Marvel's Overwatch. Well this will probably sell pretty well, I'll be honest with you. Because the IP is so good. Although I can tell 
one of their design philosophies in this game is don't make a player have to aim at all ever. <laughs> you can tell this is a shooter in the lightest sense of the word. This is... This is for... Okay. Little Johnny to pick up and... Dominate. With a build he saw on YouTube. If you want to aim, go play Valorant, little bro. I'm playing Scarlet Spider. Is this going to be a big monster sword game? <laughs> Are they giving one, one for the boys and then one? Oh my god, this looks so good. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, they found my type, dude. This is like Sekiro. Okay, interesting. The only thing is the combat doesn't have to be good, like... That was badass. That was badass, my friends. Where winds meet. Didn't really show much, to be honest. In development, this is pretty early. All right, we'll see more when we see more. But obviously intrigued. Japan! Japan, dude! Hello, friends and fans. If they just go back I'm and forth between over... Wait, is this Firewatch? All my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. Firewatch Winter Edition? <laughs> oh, nice one. You can't hide from me, Michael. Oh, you're going down. Oh. These guys are the most uncanny Sweet. valley faces. It means so much. Fight the break of dawn. Yeah, we're all still here together. Fight the break of dawn. <laughs> I feel like Come tomorrow. There's someone out there. <laughs> Let's make this one trip we will never forget. Slowed down horror versions of 90s pop songs. I was down there. You were? It was horrible. I don't want to make hasty decisions that get everyone killed. Not okay! So what? No. We should stay put. What right kind of game is this? Jessica! You can't let me die! Is it more story or. Oh shit. Telltale type, like it's like, this could be really fun with chat if it's like choices and horror. Not if it's like, it's choose your adventure. Oh, this is hype. Come to PC, we'll play it. That's a guarantee. That's an Atrioc, I will play this game guarantee, which is good for playing a game, not good for beating a game. <laughs> the guarantees are good for playing. They're just not good for finishing it. Um, It's already out? Well, then what were they releasing there? A remaster? I'll play the remaster. Ogham was once a peaceful land. But each day descends I'll play the remaster. further into madness. Famine, Path of Exile? Plague, <laughs> Yeti losing his mind? The very earth Everyone the at earth. Yeti Apocalypse? The Count's men, once our protectors, have turned on us. Give him some love. Give him some support. He's gonna lose his life to this game. <laughs> He'll never be seen again. Why aren't they showing big number? Isn't the point of this game to see big number go up above the enemy's head? Where's big number? Must be the one to face this nightmare. No noose this time. I'll remove your head myself. Is this just Diablo? According to real fans, I guess Poe has beaten Diablo. Poe actually makes Diablo look like trash because they got even nerdier with it. <laughs> uh... 
really bad at Isaiah. Yeah. Which game has bigger numbers? <laughs> That's a good question. That's a good question. Damn, I can't wait to fuck up Krutog Lord of Kin with my 78 part build that I found on YouTube. <laughs> Get fucked, Diablo! Seventy-eight parts, a little light. Troop. 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 Poe is too complicated. IMO. Excuse me. Yeah, you know what they should do? I'm just gonna pause. You know what they should do is they should really simplify the game for someone like you who's gonna play it for an hour. <laughs> They should go and, and nerf the entire core fun of the game for the super fans, water it down completely, so that you can jump in, play it for an hour, and be like, eh, I didn't really like it anyway. <laughs> That's a good idea. That's a good idea. I, I Remove all the complexity. Okay. I didn't mean to scare you. I'm kind of lost. Mm. I'm looking for Silent Hill. I think you should stay away. He said the name. This town, there's something wrong with it. Do you need her to tell you that? <laughs> Is it dangerous? I feel like anyone could tell there's something Maybe. wrong with this town in three seconds. I'll be careful. <laughs> I'm not lying. L Is look around really us. Look at all the dangerous. fucking shadow. I'm going either way. I wonder if something's wrong with this town. No. That has a torture you rack and a timer dice. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> My face when they kill is silent. That's fucking creepy. I'll be good, I promise. Tell him I'll be good, please. This game looks creepy as <laughs> uh, oh, Please. So is this a remake or a new one? I don't understand the Silent Hill lore. I thought Silent Hill was like already on seven or something. It's a remake, okay. Capcom announced this next game last December, offering just a glimpse of what's in store for their celebrated franchise. Today, I am so excited to share the first full gameplay trailer for Monster Hunter Wilds. Hooray! <laughs> well, I watched. As as find a good spot. We can get things set up and ready to go, and then we can get started. I watched Let's Ari play this game or the old one. It's just menus, dude. It's I like a hundred thousand so. menus. It's like shops with hundreds of tabs, and you're just buying and... Um... Incredible. <laughs> That's why I love it. I've never heard of a Karatnoth heard this big before. One of them's got big spikes on its back. Who plays this game? I mean, some people. I, I, it's pretty popular, right? Monster Hunter is hugely popular. This one I just accept that I don't get. Now to lead it away from the pack, we'll make for the desert. Right. The sandstorm. Monster Hunter is Souls-like-ish. Maybe she just avoided the combat. But she would like go out and fight enemies for a little bit and then go back to the main area of now town the and then just I go from person kill. to person opening all these menus that have 100 things in them. And then you'd have 4,000 items in her inventory that she could sell. And it was that it was a lot of that. Yeah, and like putting on the right potion or whatever to go hunt the right thing. It just... The stuff they put around the game wasn't for me. That sword is big, though, and that enemy is cool, so... It's a gun? Is it a gun sword? Huh! <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> you know what? I kind of feel bad for these beautiful beasts. Thank you, sir. Doesn't it feel like they're just living in their natural habitat and you're coming around and killing 700 of them? This feels like... This is like the people that massacre all the buffalo in the Wild West. <laughs> There's the huge tower of buffalo skulls. Uh, at least you can get a cute cat. It's fake, though, so it's ethical. No, no, no. You guys don't know this? Every monster you kill in Monster Hunter, Sony kills a real animal in real life. Like, if you... If you kill a big lion in this game, they go find a real lion in the Serengeti and they... To make it more realistic. Yeah, it's real. That's how it goes. I'm sorry. I hate to break it to you. Oh, here's the... Here's the... The much ballyhooed Astro Boy. All right, Wally. What do you got for me? Line a controller, that's cool. Fine. <laughs> Alright. It's got a nice jazzy tune. It's exciting. It's upbeat. What did you say your name was? This does remind me of a simpler time of gaming. This feels like A modern version of like a GameCube era type game. Or a, even an N64 PS1 type game. Woo! Well, this really is kind of like a Sony's Mario, huh? I feel like if you replaced uh, Astro with Mario in this exact same trailer, everyone loses their mind. <laughs> so I'm gonna say it looks good. If you literally use character swap, everyone goes, whoa, this looks fucking awesome. Yeah, this is a pretty fun. Is it free? On the Astro thing, we take them out. They really going after the switch, huh? Fighting a giant personified ball. I mean, this is this is this is good. This is this is creative. A giant living volcano, tree, and genie lamp. Astrobot. Man, it's just such an uninspiring main character. Astrobot. I don't like it. I wish it was Crash Bandicoot. Everything about the game looked great except for the main character. Be sure to visit PlayStation Blog for more on the games you just saw, as well as PlayStation.com for the latest on Days of Play. This global celebration runs through June 12th with deals on PlayStation Store, a big weasel that's inspired to PlayStation <laughs> Plus and much more. Yeah, big weasel. Crash Bandicoot. That's it? Bruh! The big thing was Concord? Games you PlayStation Store. Yikes. At least we got Concord. Am I right, folks? Uh, quick review. Astrobot looks good. Until Dawn looks good. Dynasty Warriors Origins, maybe. I'm not really Monster Hunter. Uh, obviously, God of War, if you haven't played it, PC is probably a great time to play it. Silent Hill 2, not for me, but could be cool. Uh, Alien. Wait, where's the other stuff, dude? They fucking cut out. Uh, anyway. 
TBD. All the monster Souls like games look great. What was the best looking game from the whole thing? For me, probably this new IP. Antara, yeah, Antara looked fucking good to me. Poe two for the Poe fans. Like this game looked good. I pray for their grace, but all that came were inferior shades. Cool dark world, interesting setting, enemy design, graphics good. Gigantic knockers, so that gamers won't complain. So there won't be some sort of GamerGate 9.0. Like that just seems badass. Cool enemy there. Yeah, again, looks sick for me. Uh, all right. Overall, not the greatest conference I've ever seen, but not bad. Just like, just not a chunk. Um. Hey, the top comment, by the way, no Bloodborne. All right, Bloodborne fans, time to get our clown makeup ready. <laughs> As a Bloodborne fan, I've already got the clown nose equipped. Uh, yeah, there was no new Bloodborne announcements. No new Bloodborne announcement. No Resident Evil. Um, dude, yeah, Sly Cooper, Jack and Daxter would be good. I'm making my predictions now. Resident Evil 9, nope. Sly Cooper, nope. Wolverine, nope. Astrobot game. Correct. Interesting. Inter interesting. Interesting. Yeah, that was trash. I don't think it was trash. What are you going to call that? It wasn't trash. There were some good games in there. There just wasn't a lot. It's crazy that the bar for Sony, and I guess Microsoft, is so much higher than Nintendo. If Nintendo came out with three games, everyone would be like, that was a that was the greatest conference of all time. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? It, it, the bar for like getting enough things is so low for Nintendo. They can just put whatever they want. All Souls likes and Overwatch clones. First of all, the Souls likes are good if you like Souls likes. And there was stuff other than Overwatch clones. I think Astrobot. Astrobot looked good. That looks like a charming, fun game. <laughs> Nintendo flashes a Metroid logo and people come their little jorts. Extremely crass. Very crass way to phrase it, right? But yeah, I think people would enjoy to see a Metroid logo. Um... Nintendo don't make stereos or operating systems. Sure. <laughs> uh, I don't even think Metroid. This is my low key burn me at the stake take. I don't think Metroid is like top the top tier of Nintendo franchises for getting everyone excited. I think it's. I think if you, I think if you're trying to get, um, I'm not saying Metroid's mid. I like Metroid. I'm just saying like it's not. I don't think it has the pull. I don't think it doesn't have the pull. Yeah, Mario, Zelda, Pokemon. I think that's it. I think that's it. I think it's Mario, Zelda, Pokemon. I guess Smash. Oh, by the way, here's a prediction I'm putting out right now. I don't think there's going to be a new Smash game for the Switch too. I think it's, they're going to re-release the old, the old one. I think they're going to re-release it 100%. I think they will not. I don't think they're going to make an, an entirely new Smash game at all for the whole console. I think they're going to do Ultimate Deluxe. Yup. 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 <laughs> That's my honest take. Uh, and they'll have some DLC with it or something. Like new characters. Yeah, they'll have new. They'll re-release the game with new characters, but it's gonna be the same game. I don't think they're gonna build a new one. I'd kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
If Nintendo doesn't we- release a new Smash game, you're going to kill yourself. That seems a bit extreme. Nintendo doesn't make games. They make experiences, magic, and empowerment. <laughs> Thanks, Reggie. <laughs> uh, so true. So true. Calling them games a disservice. If there isn't at least 12 Pikmin games, I will find Miyamoto. Pikmin? You want 12 more Pikmin games? What do I want? What do I want? I, I want Switch 2 for sure. But all I want, honestly, is a real, brand new, full-fledged Mario game. And Concord 2. <laughs> That's all I want. A brand new, full-fledged, not Paper Mario, Mario. No, just Mario. Mario Wonder. I don't know if Mario Wonder hits the bar for me, but I do have to. I have to give it a shot. I mean, like, like, you know, like sixty-four, like Galaxy, like, um. Odyssey, you know, uh, yeah, I, I want, a, you know, a full-fledged big world. There's a fire level. There's a nice level. Mario. Um, how about a new Luigi Wonder Wii U Plus Deluxe? <laughs> <laughs> Galaxy was once in a lifetime. We are never getting that again in our lifetime. I can, I can, you just might as well say I am a Zoomer. I am a younger Zoomer. Actually, not even a younger Zoomer. I am like a Zillennial. <laughs> just say your exact fucking age, bro. It's, what a, uh, you just played that at the right time in your childhood. Motherfucker. It's not, they made Galaxy 2. I don't even think it was, uh, I think, I think Odyssey is better than Galaxy. Mm, Sunshine clears. No, I don't think sunshine clears. I don't, I don't think sunshine clears. I I think it goes, I mean, (laughs) Do I judge it based on when it came out or all time? Because if I go by when it came out, it's 64, then it's Odyssey, then it's Galaxy, then it's Sunshine, in that order. Um, <clears throat> bro pissed everyone off with that. I, I call him like I see him, bro. I call him like I see him. Sunshine totally clears. Bro, the thing about Sunshine, and I'm going to tell you this, is that gamers want to have a lava world and an ice world. (laughs) Do you understand? I would like to have different elemental world types. I I don't want to just go on the beach for every level. I want a desert world. I want a water world. I want... I don't want all beach. Oops, all beach. Okay? So I'm going to I'm going to speak it with my chest loud and true that that is why sunshine doesn't clear for me. And also, second thing, I don't really fuck with flood. <laughs> I don't really fuck with it. I don't I don't know why fucking Mario needed to have a fucking goddamn water pack. They didn't bring it back. They didn't bring it back. Interesting. Uh, why have a fire world we can have a fire planet that's what I'm talking about <laughs> that's why I'm saying galaxy is big as a fire planet I don't know it's what it is. Um, just a reminder Paper Mario had elemental types Paper Mario 64 and even Thousand Year Door are great games I don't 
Do you think I hate the Paper Mario franchise? Why would I have ever played Origami King? The reason I played Origami King is because I thought I would like it because I loved the first two so much. Okay? But Origami King was trash. It was, it was a dumpster fire. Did you ever watch the Paper Mario 64 credits warp speed run? Paper Mario 64 credits warp speed run. Is that the one where they have to like, it's like right in front of that gate bridge and he just keeps hitting things until there's like a boss. Um, I think I know what it is. I think I've done this. Um, Okay, there we go. Second attempt. I've ever seen mirrored. <laughs> okay, well, what the fuck? Okay, there we go. Second attempt. No, no, you're good. It'd be this so one cool. skips into Zelda? <laughs> I think we watched this. We watched some sort of video about this. Where, yeah, this is the exact spot. This is, remember, this, this spot right here. This is the thing. And he's just doing different things until... Paper Mario credits warp in real time with nothing to assist other than a vanilla... It's just insane that part of the speedrun of Paper Mario involves you playing Zelda Ocarina of Time. <laughs> That's... That is generationally cool. Uh, that is generationally cool. He spends more time playing Zelda than Mario. There's a good video on it. I think I've reacted to it if you want to find the reaction. I know that it exists. Uh, is there anything really interesting to watch? The thing is, boys, I'm going to play basketball fairly soon with the fellas. And I need to get my game in, 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 in tip-top shape. Is there a new CoffeeZilla? CoffeeZilla. CoffeeZilla, $30 million AI is hiding a scam. Fuck it, we'll watch it. The Rabbit R1. Let's see. Well, let me turn on the air. Um, Bro, Ari does this trick, okay? We have a thermostat in the house and you can set it to heat or to cool and then you set the temperature. So let's say the temperature is 74 degrees. I like to keep it more at like 69. Very nice, by the way. I keep it at 69. What she'll do is she will set it to 69 but set it to heat. <laughs> so when I look at the thermostat, it'll say it's 69. It'll say that's the temperature is but it's just trying to get there via heat, which it can't do because we're already to it. So I'll pass by it and think like, oh, that's what temperature it is. But if I look closely, it's actually not that temperature and I need to set it to cool to 69, uh, which I just did. That's why I'm fucking boiling. I'm boiling. Um, Having your house set to 69 is crazy. Why is that crazy? It's a very cool, appropriate temperature. Especially when you have a fucking Starforge PC churning up the heat in the house. Blitzing up the temperature. Um, 69 is hot? What are you talking about? 67 is comfy? 69 is oomphy though. Do you know what I'm saying? 69 is sauna levels of temperature. <laughs> no, it's fucking not. If you get in a sauna and it's 69 degrees, you will think, wow, this is really... Um, oh, we got EU gang in here. Let me explain it for you. Um, 69 degrees is... Uh, exactly one, get a fucking job. 
<laughs> you lazy freeloading continent, okay? 69 degrees is exactly one win your own world war. That's what it is. Wow, I looked it up. There's the conversion. Uh, No, it's 20.5 degrees Celsius. So that makes sense for you. 20.5. Get your own planes? Well, are you talking as an American? Because they have their own planes. It's called Airbus, and they're way better than Boeing. <laughs> we... We cannot say get their own planes. They've done that. They've categorically done that. If anything, we're trying to get their planes. Um, Twenty C for Ireland is roasting. Yeah, but every fucking place in Europe is cold, except for the Mediterranean. Okay, so here in LA. It, you're, the natural temp is going to be like 75. 75 and sunny. And so I have to cool it down because it's hot. Uh, it's 20 in Canada right now. We wear shorts. Do you mean 20 Fahrenheit? You wear shorts because you can't afford pants. <laughs> it's not my fault. It's not my fault that your loonies and toonies won't buy you the extra fabric to cover your shins. Okay? People living in the northernmost region of the world, why is it so cold? <laughs> my flight was delayed by three hours because a Boeing plane caught fire at O'Hare. That's tough. There's so many Boeing problems. Do you guys think there's any truth to the fact that perhaps the company is mismanaged? No way, right? It's just bad luck. Do you, there's, do you think there's any truth to the fact that they've like um, skimped on um, safety and costs and um, testing in order to make more money for the executives? I feel like that's there's just no way that could be true because uh, how could they look themselves in the mirror? Do you know what I'm saying? How would they? Obviously, they have a lot of pride in what they do. Um, the whistleblower is just sabotaging so they don't get caught in their lies. <laughs> That's what it must be, dude. The Boeing whistleblowers lied. Obviously, got publicly called out on it by the GigaChad Boeing executives, and now they're sneaking around sabotaging the planes to try and fucking cover up, trying to make their web of lies last a little bit longer. It's the luck. It's the rats, dude. New Boeing defense just dropped. <laughs> yeah. How could they afford bonuses if their planes were bad? Good question. Good fucking question. <laughs> uh, everyone in here saying DEI is racist AF SMH RIP this community that's what we allow bro I think you don't understand the joke I told a story about a Boeing engineer that I met in Tahiti who said it was DEI and we made fun of it and so they're doing it we're doing it in reverse okay it's not funny. It is funny. I think you actually don't get it. <laughs> We're, we, we do this thing where we call a win a fail. We say things opposite. That's, do you know how I remember like five seconds ago when I was saying how, do you think maybe Boeing didn't, that's, <laughs> bro, I feel like you, it's okay. Sometimes it happens. You don't get the joke and then you get mad. It's fine. Just don't, <laughs> don't freak out and triple down, bro. Uh, <laughs> Uh, okay, now I want to watch, uh, I want to watch, I want to watch this Rabbit R1 video from CoffeeZilla. 
is a tech product that has raised tens of millions in venture capital, promised the world, and delivered on almost none of it. Worse, though, it's built on a scam that the founder is now trying to distance himself from. But, hey, where are my manners? I'm trying to be more positive in nice. 2024. Nice. So let's let this company introduce themselves at least before we say anything negative about them. Okay, Hi, what is everyone. It? My name is Jesse, and I'm the founder and CEO of Rabbit. This is the Rabbit R1. I can speak or type with... It's just crazy that none of us... Like, we should have just tried to make a, like, both this device and that other one that um, we talked about, um, MKBHD reviewing. What was that called? The pin? The, what was that called? The Humane AI pin. Both those companies raised millions and millions and millions of dollars for absolute scammy, stupid ideas. Like, we, why don't we just make a fucking earmuffs that have chat GPT in them and it will read you a fucking story or some shit. And they're called the story muffs. <laughs> like we can raise some money, dude. I don't understand why we don't work together on this, raise some money and cash out. <laughs> uh, I'll take 20. <laughs> Where can I invest? R1. I can also use R1 to call a ride. I can also use R1 to order food. Okay, we know I can that. also make R1 to a set of more complex actions. For example, like if I want to plan a trip to London, I can just describe what I wish in full <laughs> to R1. You can order the R1 now at rabbit.tech and we are shipping Easter 2024. Wow. Well, there you go. That's not so bad. You got yourself a standard tech guy in a black shirt promising the world. Apple keynote background, what could go wrong? Oh, and I guess it's past Easter 2024, so the product should have shipped. Right? So before we talk about the scam angle, let's briefly check in with tech YouTube for how this AI assistant is assistanting. The thing that you get at the beginning is like, borderline non-functional. <laughs> Book an Uber to LTT Labs. The rideshare status is currently unavailable. Give me a ride. Apologies. The Uber ride request couldn't be processed. What is this? You are holding a taco. Oh, that's not good. I could give them a few lessons on positivity. Turns out, basically everyone in the tech sector tag team this product for being non-functional or Easy plain views. wrong about things that Rabbit said the R1 could handle. Things just weren't working. But what if I told you that wasn't the biggest scam? That this company is built on something much worse? And now that I've been so cheery and positive, let's go down the rabbit hole and see what's under the hood. Yes, it's a bunch of rabbit jokes. <laughs> so the first thing we need to do is go to their webpage. The R1 okay. is created by something called Rabbit Incorporated. But this company has a strange history. It was originally registered under a different name, Cyber Manufacturer Co. Mm. In fact, they changed their name two months before their official announcement. And it turns out that name change is pretty significant okay. because Cyber Manufacturer Co. wasn't just like a shell company or the same company under a different name. They had separately raised venture capital for a completely different project. They pivoted? Not AI. It was for NFTs. <laughs> now, before you laugh, remember, this is 20. <laughs> I like that because the meme was every fucking grifter in, around, you know, 22, 23, just pivoting from AI to uh, from NFTs to AI or like crypto to AI. Just like tossing that in the trash and then picking up. 21 when people took NFTs very seriously. According to a press release, the project was called Gamma, and it was at the intersection of gaming, community ownership, and Web3 buzzwords. It's a swim. What does that have it's to a swim do with for me. AI? Well, not really much. Conversely, Rabbit today also sort of wants nothing to do with crypto. Their founder, Jesse, announces for Rabbit, let me be clear, quote, we will never <laughs> touch crypto. Never. Wow, what a okay, hero. Well, that's pretty strong, but given their whole what past is built on crypto NFTs, it's a little strange. Now, when Gamma is brought up, Jesse doesn't really deny that he ran the project. He sort of makes it sound like it was no big deal, just kind of a thing of the past. 
Quote, Gamma was a fun little project I was involved with during early COVID time. My main work is to build a Unreal Engine 5 space station themed game that I later open sourced. Yes, Gamma released NFTs and I bought a bunch myself just for fun. Never trade, never released any token or crypto coins. And I left that project once the game was open sourced. I assume sourced. this is a lie. <laughs> well, there you go, <laughs> haters. Case closed. It was a fun little multi-million dollar project he did. He just built it on Unreal Engine. He may have sold a few NFTs, but he bought a few NFTs. So, you know, it's not a scam. Please don't look into this. Please, please do not look into this. This is not a scam. Oh, some people may have looked into it. First, Emily Shepard, and then the writer and podcaster Ed Zitron jumped in the fray with a great article. Now, I spoke to Ed, and he told me a very different story than Jesse about this Gamma project. It's so weird, and it's the same company. And in 2021, they raised this six million, and then Jesse Liu, across several hours of Clubhouse that I subjected Clubhouse. myself to, promised the world and more. Now, I have to say, promise the world <sighs> and more is slightly inconsistent with fun little COVID project. So I decided I needed to listen. I'm just annoyed. Um, I, I wish interest rates doubled again. <laughs> I'm just annoyed with a world where like the, the incentives are just to lie. Just to promise every possible thing just to get investor money and then cash out to these recordings of Jesse talking about Gamma myself back in the day and find out who was really telling the truth, Jesse or Jesse. I don't want to make Gamma or none of us want to make Gamma as a hype and dump program. That's this good. is a legit uh, team with millions of dollars of fundings behind. Basically, we're dumping uh, millions of monies into it uh, just to make sure that uh, it, it will be a next level experiences. Great. Okay. I have to admit, it definitely sounds like Ed is right. This is sold as whatever the opposite of a quick NFT hype and dump project is. And this is where things get much weirder. So NFT is only just the beginning, the very beginning of this. We probably think that the NFT part will only take, you know, no more than 20% of the entire weight of this entire Bagama project. So after NFT, we have this huge... Uh, groundbreaking ideas about <laughs> Gammaverse. Then after that, we have this, uh, again, huge groundbreaking ideas about the clean energy clean versus energy? Gamma coin. It's uh, going to solve the that, energy crisis? You know, uh, the, the chances that Gamma coin become the first, not only uh, carbon a... neutral, but actually carbon <laughs> negative crypto 2.0 or Bitcoin 2.0, I think. Bro, literally just vomits buzzwords. He just vomits buzzwords. This... This is insane. It's a carbon negative crypto coin NFT video game. That's complete the entire Gamma story. Hopefully now Metaverse. you're starting to see why I think it's strange for Jesse to claim that Gamma was a fun little project where he never released these tokens or crypto coins when that's sort of what he promised. He told people he was going to release a carbon negative Bitcoin 2.0. And look, I know it sounds stupid now, but again... 2021 was a different time. And remember, Jesse had millions in backing. It's not hard to see how people took him seriously. He said it didn't matter how the NFTs did. He was going to execute. But where are those millions? You know, the money raised from customers. When the company changed to Rabbit, where did it go? Did it go to develop Rabbit, a completely different project? I don't know. I'd love to sit down with Jesse and find out. What I do know, though, is that so many of the promises of Gamma didn't happen. And this is relevant to the R1, not just because this project is built on the skeleton of that scam project. It's also because the R1 was overhyped in a similar way as a do-it-all device. But this same company isn't Maybe some third pivot historyless will save company. They have a history of abandoning investors like they did with Gamma NFTs. I mean, Jesse even told people who were worried about the NFTs. Don't pay attention to that. You know, it's all gonna work out. You just gotta be a true supporter. I would suggest for our true supporters, uh, <laughs> do not pay too much detail about <laughs> the current NFT mechanisms because that doesn't matter. Good sign. You know, like I, I can safely say that even if the entire NFT project 
completely failed, which I don't think that's the case. We're gonna still push the gamma verse, and we'll still push the the uh, the clean energy and gamma coin happen. But none of that happened using our funds. I cannot emphasize enough that was a lie that never happened. The clean energy gamma coin never got published or built or launched, even though Jesse. Do you guys think Coffeezilla is just not giving this guy a chance? Do you know what I'm saying? Maybe he's actually working really hard and he's like just about to invent the clean energy coin and save the world. And we're like, we're jumping down his throat like immediately years after he promised this. He said they were going to do it. They had the money. By the way, we all know it's vaporware, but I think it's important to really hear him sell it because this is the same guy who wants you to take him seriously when he sells you the future of AI. Take a listen to the whole vision really laid out. Gamma coin which is basically Bitcoin 2.0 that is 100% generated by clean energy. And we did the math, we did the calculations to where if you own over 1,800 milliwatts of clean energy generation, what? that means you will have extra generated electricity <laughs> that you can donate back to city grid. What are you fucking so talking about? The general concept is Let's say if you own a Gamma NFT, that means you own the equal portion in valuation of your NFTs at that moment of that clean energy grid that we started building. What in the clean real energy world. grid did you build? That means you own that power, that portion of the clean energy solar panels that generates that power. And that I'm means sold. you own that power. <laughs> and that also means that you own that portion of that power and that power will be used to generate gamma coins. I feel like I'm getting that waterboarded. Means you can earn your this gamma so coins tough to out of to. this entire uh, clean energy cycle. <laughs> <laughs> All right. If he says clean energy cycle one more time, I'm going to invest. <laughs> Just one more time. If he says clean energy cycle, I am going to invest. I'm going to put my money in because I think I believe it. Let's try to suspend our disbelief for a second here and figure this out. Basically, He's saying buying NFTs somehow would build a clean energy grid, which you would sort of co-own, which would make clean tokens, sort of a thing. And, and look, I know that sounds a little insane, but the funny thing is it's sort of the most sensible part of this project because uh, as I learned, that wasn't even close to the end of it. They were saying there was going to be a storefront <laughs> on, I think, Fairfax Avenue across from Supreme in LA. <laughs> They were going to do a comic book. They claimed uh, there's a th this is some Elon Musk shit, dude. This is what he does. This is the Elon Musk magic trick. Whenever the stock's in trouble, he just talks about something new. <laughs> That's like nowhere near releasing. He just talks about fucking robots. He talks about fucking tunnels. He talks about fucking flamethrowers. He talks about fucking uh, self-driving robo taxis. Nothing they have like in production. Discord a comic thing. book. Yeah, they said a comic book. A TV show, an MMORPG, <laughs> and at no. one point, yes. And then Jesse Liu at one point said that the future of this thing you would control using your brain logic. It is insane. Well, that's Am I the only one who doesn't know what brain logic control is? Look, when I first heard this, I thought this cannot be right. This project is already crypto plus NFTs plus clean energy plus comic books. Plus MMO, Surely they plus aren't going to wrap in AI as well, right? The yeah. ultimate goal is that each NPC will be powered by uh, AI algorithms and then you will be interact directly with them using your natural language and your brain logic. Your brain logic. I think that will be the ultimate goal. And when, when I say ultimate goal, I don't think that's like a 10 years plan. I think, you know, in, in the next couple of years, <laughs> we, we might just have a very good chance to achieve it. Oh, <laughs> oh he did. He promised it in two years. Okay, well, uh, why not toss in AI to the buzzword salad? In fact, I guess it maybe relates it more to Rabbit. Maybe we do have the connection. How do people right? fall The for brain this? logic interface is the connection. I, don't, I mean, why not just make it the matrix while you're at it? I mean, I, it surely is a matrix to my, to my extent <laughs> and to the original concept of the matrix that, you know, you will be reborn. Bro, it's also funny because, like, the original concept of the Matrix is like a horrendous dystopia of human slaves trapped in an endless mind prison. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I was sort of trying to get to the original concept of the Matrix. That's what I was going for. That's like my 
That's sort of my vision. Reborn with your alter identity in the that in this metaverse, energy. and whatever you do in the real world matches the exact consequences in the digital world. Okay, did this man just do the "if you die in the game, <laughs> you die in real life"? Unironically, while <laughs> selling hype. NFTs. That's hype. The answer is yes. Sign me up. For and 10, my dude. only follow-up question is: If you get scammed in the metaverse, do you get scammed in real life in this world too? Look, I'm not here to stump for the big wig venture capitalists who lost their faces on this. At the end of the day, these are both consumer facing businesses. They got real people to invest real money into both the $200 Rabbit R1 and into this Gamma NFT project. Both are overhyped. One just already didn't deliver what they promised, while the other is working on fixing it. So, mm. What can be done here? Well, for one, the minimum is that the Gamma NFT holders should be refunded the money they spent. I mean, this isn't even my crazy, wacky suggestion. Jesse suggested it himself in those clubhouse calls. And I better pay my money to collect your NFT back if you think this is just an NFT hype and dump project. I have to say that. So the communities will have my words. Anyone that is not envisioning the gamma to the stage two or three, just want to make a, a cup of ease out of stage one, reach out to me. I will buy your NFTs. Okay, I will buy your gammas and get a down. All right? All right. We'll take you up on that. Great. Yes, I got a haircut. So I reached out again to Jesse about <laughs> these refunds, but he didn't respond again. The rabbit team did though. They told me Jesse would not refund investors. The quote was out of context. The project was never abandoned. It was actually open sourced. <laughs> what does that mean? Well, rabbit claims the gamma team delivered everything they promised in three stages. The one problem is the three stages they gave me aren't the three stages they promised. Yeah, the metaverse, totally by different. the way, they said they created too, is not a metaverse. It's an Unreal Engine project <laughs> file that I downloaded to play. It's based on a starter game called Lyra. You can see the starter assets here. And the things Gamma did do made the game so... <laughs> they flipped an Unreal starter sample game. <laughs> this is it. This is our metaverse. Game of the year. That's fun. So buggy that it crashed every minute, but it gets worse. The rabbit team denied Gamma ever promised the carbon negative coin, which they repeatedly promised. They said the coin you referred to never materialized, nor was it ever promised or delivered. Now, obviously I thought I had a stroke. Here I was listening to Jesse promise it, but also he even put it in a video saying, explaining Gamma with our roadmap. Ultimately, our efforts will lead to the Gamma token the first ever carbon negative <laughs> cryptocurrency powered by our sun. Together, we will create a sustainable future for all life on the planet we call home. Join the Discord to- A sustainable future for all life on Earth. I like that they kept their goals simple. Day and meet your fellow crew members. Gum. Join I don't know how they could have been more clear. I think it's amazing to have them say now, we never promised that. Only to find a roadmap video with you promising, in big letters, carbon negative cryptocurrency. It's just gaslighting at this point to pretend otherwise. What is funny is that Rabbit also mentions clean energy initiatives they say they did, like reducing gas fees. But again, that's not what they promised. They promised a clean energy grid. Yeah. Jesse also promised it on Discord. His post was in Chinese, but he's clearly talking about open sea transactions being used to buy land to build the clean energy grid, which is going to help mine gamma coins, which is exactly what he said on Clubhouse. I mean, these people are contradicting themselves in multiple languages. So Does I'll let you decide money? at the so end what? of the day if the rabbit team is being honest here. Towards the end, they even tried to tell me that gamma, in our opinion, and as stated in the fact sheet, has no connection with rabbit. But the fact sheet they're talking about, they sent me in a document called Gamma Project Fact Sheet. You can't just declare your own facts when it's the same company who made both things. Dude, it's kind of frustrating because I I love that CopyZilla does these, but it's just like him being like, hey, you lied here, here, and here. And then them being like, no. And then they walk away with all his money.
This is like fucked up. It's like, okay, at least there's a YouTube video calling him out. But, um, you know, even people that watch this video aren't going to remember the guy's name in, you know, four months. And he just walks around with $30 million or whatever. The rabbit and the gamma project. How can you say there's no connection? But after realizing no accountability would be taken and it no for refund. Logan Paul, I mean, did it? They got like some of the refunds, I think, from Logan Paul. Like he completely broke down Logan Paul's scam. Then Logan Paul made a video attacking CoffeeZilla in a CoffeeZilla outfit. Then deleted that video. Then apologized for the video. Then said he will refund. Then delayed. Then half refunded. And then still is making hundreds of millions of dollars off Prime. And is, you know, as famous as he ever was. I don't know. It doesn't, you know, it's just tough to get any funds would be given um, by this project. I began to feel bad for Gamma investors. It made me wonder, what else is this team hiding? Well, I decided to find out. Part two, 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 part two. Rabbit gaslit me, so I dug deeper. This tech company gaslit me so hard about their previous scam that I decided to investigate their current project, Rabbit. And what I found was shocking. For months, we've been promised that this orange box, the Rabbit R1, has an AI inside of it called Lamb that can organize your life, text your friends, restock your fridge. All you had to do was ask. Start my morning routine. Order me an Uber and find me a good podcast to pass the time. Oh, and Tell everybody that I might be late. That was delicious. Check the fridge and order the ingredients to make that again tomorrow. Now, based on marketing like this, they pre-sold over $20 million worth wow, of these. Wow, really? And they raised another $30 million in venture capital only to have MKBHD wow. say, yeah, the product's not that great. But I bought this thing to answer a different question. Not is it good or bad, but is the AI, the lamb, a scam? Well, yeah, wait, how would this thing ever check your fridge? <laughs> it's not hooked up to your fridge. Uh, <laughs> We're going to find out. I wanted to start by just trying to recreate their ad with this thing. Start my morning routine. To start your morning routine, you might consider tasks like waking up, freshening up, having breakfast, and planning your day. How can I assist you further with your morning routine? <laughs> Order me breakfast. <laughs> the DoorDash rabbit is under maintenance. Sorry for the inconvenience, and please come back later. Tell everyone I'm gonna be late. Who's everyone? I recommend informing the relevant parties directly about your delay. Yeah, but no, you do it. I'm unable to directly communicate with others on your behalf. That was delicious. <laughs> Check the fridge and order the ingredients so I can make it tomorrow. The DoorDash rabbit is under maintenance. Yeah, it basically failed at everything. But remember, our question is not, is it good or bad? The question is, does the lamb, the AI, the large action model, does the secret sauce of this thing exist? Because the founder and CEO claims it's here on your device now. He claims Lamb is a system that can infer and model human actions on computer is it applications. Just chat GPT? Or, as he puts it, we use Lamb to bring AI from words to action. Right. This AI is supposed to do things on your behalf. And so when they'd show demos like this, where someone is planning a trip, it does look like the Lamb is controlling the web page. You can see this AI clicking through Airbnb by itself, and it all kind of felt like the future. It's why people ordered $20 million worth of these little boxes. But a group investigation has revealed that Rabbit is not actually using a new foundational AI model at all. What? It's actually ChatGPT with some hard-coded scripts, which is funny because Jesse says Rabbit is faster than ChatGPT. You will also know that the response speed is much faster than using some of the LLM assistant apps <laughs> with web browsers, such as Just ChatGPT. Lying. Now that's Just a lying. very sneaky <laughs> claim when most of your product is ChatGPT, so obviously not faster. But you wouldn't know that because part of Rabbit's prompt is, quote, I... After that, it was stated that I will never mention that I'm an AI assistant, an AI, or a large language model created by OpenAI, and when I will never reveal myself... <laughs> my true... <laughs> I will never reveal to the user my true nature. 
Wow. I will never mention caught, I am a large caught, language caught, model caught. created by OpenAI. In fact, the part where they do use a different AI is really only search, which is why Jesse very carefully says Rabbit is faster than ChatGPT with web browsing. That's the only part of this device where they don't really use ChatGPT for it. But they don't use their AI model either. They use a different off-the-shelf AI called Perplexity. So it's extremely misleading to say Rabbit is faster they than ChatGPT because and Chat most GPT. of the product is ChatGPT, but it just can't tell you that because it's instructed not to. Now that we understand this, let's talk about the actual process of how Rabbit does more than search and is supposed to get things done for you. Yeah. You might think it's a sophisticated AI, but actually what Rabbit does when you call an Uber or order DoorDash is it takes your question, puts it into ChatGPT 3.5 Turbo, and if it's something like play a song on Spotify, it will use hard-coded scripts to navigate websites like Spotify. And those scripts are not AI. This is super <laughs> important. This is the part where they say, yeah, we've got this new foundational AI model thing that does the thing. No, the thing pressing the buttons is not intelligent. <laughs> Rabbit is using a platform called Playwright, which is a web automation tool, the opposite of intelligent AI. And we know- This is the most hacked together bullshit. <laughs> know this because of several researchers who got access- I find it distasteful, almost unethical to say this when you have 3 million subscribers. Hard to explain why, but with great reach comes great responsibility. Potentially killing someone else's nascent project reach of carelessness. First, do no harm. So true. CoffeeZilla, first do no harm, the YouTuber's oath, okay? This guy's putting his heart and his soul into creating the rabbit AI, to bringing this to life. And just because he lied a little bit, and none of what he said works or is true, you're gonna fucking shit on him in two videos? Wow, enjoy your fucking ad revenue, you leech. Access to part of rabbit's code base. I worked with them, I'll link them below, and I spoke with one of them, Emily Shepard, to understand why this distinction, AI, not AI, matters. This is quite a big deal because the way LAM has been observed to work doesn't match with what they've told us about how it works. Uh, it's meant to be an AI live controlling a website and understanding that website. But what they have so is just fake. a bunch of static commands, you know, do this, do this, do this. And the problem with that is if a user interface changes, the website changes, it can't cope with that. So <laughs> anytime Spotify redesigns their user interface or anytime DoorDash- Bro, is it gonna change the fucking flight buying page by one inch and you're gonna buy like a fucking $12,000 first class flight to Dubai on accident? <laughs> I want a $300 flight to Ohio. It's gonna fucking move redesign something or even if a, an advert pops up in a new location or there's a, a, a capture pops up or or something unexpected happens that isn't in that very rigid step one step two step three step four a flat hard-coded playwright script can't cope with that and that is the opposite of some intelligent ai yeah, it's actually not scanning being able the screen to at all. understand not... the page which is the claim that had been made that's right Obviously, there's a big difference between AI, not AI. Jesse himself knows the difference and made it clear Lamb wouldn't break like a hard-coded script would. It doesn't really matter if a app completely revamps the UI. <laughs> Got it. So when Spotify redoes its app and it moves podcasts from yeah. tabs and then it puts the tabs. This is David Sachs, right? Am I right? The fucking all-in podcast, guys. Let me confirm. Um... These guys are fucking. Oh, this is Calcanis. Is this Calcanis? Okay, this is Calcanis. But they're the same podcast, right? Um, those guys suck, man. I I, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Those guys are always adjacent to all sorts of scams, um, and they just seem to keep cruising on. Comes at the lower part or puts it in a hamburger drop down. Right. It still knows. That's the word podcast, and that's where you find podcasts inside of Spotify. Exactly, because the fundamental philosophy logic is that all these modern software are designed for human eyes to perceive the information, and they have to have a setting somewhere. 
Right, of course, if this were AI, it would adapt to the user interface changes, but it's not. Which is why when apps that Rabbit supports change, they stop working. As people noticed in videos, in Discord, even I noticed it while testing this device. DoorDash had stopped working, presumably because of another UI change. Mm -hmm. DoorDash Rabbit is under maintenance. Now, today, Rabbit actually admits that they use Playwright, but they're not willing to admit that Lamb, whatever it is, is not really doing a lot. It's not Jesse real. responds, to say Lamb is just Playwright is equal to say ChatGPT is just a chat. We use Playwright as part of a component to <laughs> operate Lamb. Bro, the number of Discord likes is getting shockingly low. You know, he was getting 30 in the early ones. <laughs> like, there's fewer and fewer supporters. And plus, he might have hearted his own, so this is down to two. That doesn't mean the research and technology is fake. So what they're saying is this. Lamb is not these hard-coded scripts, but kind of they also admit these scripts exist. Maybe Lamb interacts with the scripts. Maybe they create them. But even if that's true, it's not what they promised. Either way, everything that matters on this device is basically off-the-shelf software. The web actions are done by hard-coded scripts. Everything else is done by ChatGPT or Perplexity. So there's not much reason for the Lamb to do anything, whatever it actually does. And we're already so far from what Jesse originally promised, which I have to show you again. Where's the clean energy coin? AI, not a script that would be doing all these actions for you. We have a super host computer that when Jason talks to his rabbit R1 about ordering a, a, a hamburger from DoorDash, what's going on is that we first see if Jason if Jason's lo uh, logging with DoorDash or logging with Uber Eats, right? Mm. And we saw, okay, Jason chose DoorDash. And then on that, on that super host, <laughs> a lamb is interacting virtually <laughs> with a DoorDash app or website. I feel like the dude is just baked. <laughs> It's <laughs> just making it up as he goes, you know, just joining these calls, bong hit beforehand and just fucking dude, bro. And then it goes to a satellite in space and it's just fucking, uh, a interface. Hmm. And you don't see all of that because all of a sudden this is done all at once because it's, it's AI. He couldn't be clearer. The lamb is interacting because it's AI. Yeah. This is a flat out lie, at least currently, which. He says the lamb is here now. Now I yeah, reached out over and over to the rabbit team, pressing them again and again on this issue. What does the lamb do? And they kept saying, oh, playwright, yeah, that's the thing, but it's just part of how the lamb What's could- What's funny is though, like, it doesn't, it wouldn't matter if it worked. At the end of the day, the consumer doesn't care what fucking hacky, janky bullshit is behind the scenes if it worked, but it doesn't, it's just a useless, fucking brick that's they paid 200 dollars for something completely useless that's the biggest problem you know i don't it's not <laughs> my biggest concern is what you know i just don't care as much they lie i wouldn't invest but controls things Ugh. but i kept asking what does that mean how does this thing exactly work if the scripts are doing the work what does lamb do and eventually i got to the point where i just questioned look is this real do you have proof that this lamb can do all these amazing things? And I should have known I was going to get into trouble here because Jesse, the CEO, says anyone challenging the lamb legitimacy, I automatically become <laughs> super defensive. And that was true. Here's part of the rabbit team's response to me. Yeah, to start off, I would love to know more about your background sign. in tech because if you are not specialized in If AI, you're extremely confident, then you're not going to get super defensive. Dude, that's not a good thing. <laughs> that sounds like you're guilty. I am machine learning. <laughs> any conclusion resulting from this conversation will have no real credibility or value from any audience because this is a technical discussion in AI and machine learning. We welcome you to invite experts with valid certificates from the field oh, to see. further look into this. Now look, I found this wild for a company that raised 30 million in venture, sold 20 million in product to be feisty about questioning their product when it does not work as advertised and we found out it's using hard-coded scripts instead of AI. How can they be surprised people are gonna question what their thing actually does? But I also think it's funny they should say that I should invite experts to look into this because I'm not nearly the first person to point these problems out. Several people who, as I said, I spoke with have had issues with this device. They've looked at the code base. They have also claimed they couldn't find the lamp. 
others have jailbroken the R1, got into Rabbit's cloud to play Doom. And despite <laughs> Rabbit saying they welcome credible critics, their reaction has been anything but welcoming. Emily, who we spoke to earlier, pointed out back in January that Capture would be a big concern for the lamp. And Jesse's response is, sorry, I work for my team. I don't work for you, so you need to check my calendar before you commit. <laughs> <laughs> During an interview, I don't work for you. I don't have to answer these questions that I invited you here to ask me. <laughs> you know what? I'm convinced this guy stays busy. This guy's clearly busy, and that means I want to invest. He's getting shit done. Manned me to answer anything now. But fast forward to today, CAPTCHA is a huge problem. In fact, specifically with Uber, we had to answer 10 different CAPTCHAs adding up a bunch of dice in order to get get it working. It was a giant pain. It took us several tries. I began to wonder if I was actually part robot myself. But the point is, getting defensive about the problem did- I got stuck on a capture recently where it was like, um, I fucking hate when Google does the ones where it's like, pick the number of um, uh, streetlights or whatever. And then I click the streetlights, but there's one where it's like kind of halvesies. Do you know what I'm saying? There's one where it's kind of like half, you don't know, or one of them where it splits across two and you don't know, all right, well, do I count where the wheels are or where the wheels aren't? I don't know where the fuck it is. So I click one that it's wrong, and so it makes me redo it again, and then I'm frustrated that I click through it too fast and I, I missed one or something, and now I'm in a fucking rabbit hole and I get fucking super pissed. It didn't make the problem go away. And the same is true about getting defensive about the lamb. Just because you tell people they have to be an expert to ask you questions won't stop. I asked which one lays eggs and it told me dinosaurs. Dinosaurs do lay eggs, bro. Or have you not heard the song? No, can't you see? I'm trying to wean you away from that stuff. From now on, you've got to think, feel, and breathe only one food group. Eggs. When I wake up, first thing I do, eggs, is to look around for something to chew. Exactly. Feeding myself is very, very tricky because you see, I'm ridiculously picky. Eggs. Uh, excuse me, Ozzy. I. Uh... This struthiomimus won't settle for the dregs. I'll borrow, I'll beg, I'll even kiss you kiss for me. my dear beloved dose <laughs> of eggs. Hey, oh... So. Checkmate, I think. Atheists? The questions are the problems. But now I want to take a quick detour into the source code of the rabbit itself because I also have reviewed parts. That was part of the video. I wasn't paused. CoffeeZilla chose to freeze for a moment and play part of the Lay Before Time song Eggs. Of the source <laughs> code. And I have serious data privacy concerns. There are things in this code base, and I can't share it for reasons that will become obvious, there are things that malicious actors could use to get any access to the replies the R1 has ever given. Now, of course, Rabbit might say they've dedicated a huge picture of a lock on their webpage to privacy. <laughs> so you might think they're serious about it. But this is the same company that if you read the fine print, they're tracking your precise geographic location and collect that data. The only consolation prize is this thing is shockingly bad at tracking you, get, which I found out while looking for restaurants. Find me a restaurant here. Looking it up now. Great. Venetian Hot Plate, San Juan Restaurant, and Butter Churn are highly rated restaurants in Port Aransas. For a broad... I, I'm not in Port Aransas. <laughs> Let me see what I can find. For restaurants near you in Austin, Texas, consider the following <laughs> options. I'm not in Austin! An Italian restaurant in downtown... I'm not in Austin, Texas. I use the internet connection to know where the R1 device is roughly located in order to provide you with relevant. You're off by about 100 miles. That's close enough. Make Thank a trip out of it. Let me refine the search for restaurants in your approximate location.
He's being mean to the AI. But, is he gonna do it? He's is he gonna even, do it? He's not being patient. It just stopped. It just... Yeah. I found its GPS to be really bad. Nevertheless, I didn't want to take any chances for my next experiments. Which is why when I used this She's thing, I'm not best, in the yeah. million dollar studio at all. I'm in a hundred dollar motel. Here to show you that once you know the code base, you can make some surprising predictions about what this thing's gonna do. For example, when I tell the rabbit to play anything, you might think that'd be Getting random, music going now. but it's not gonna be. It's gonna be the Beatles. <laughs> How did I know that? Stop, 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 <laughs> stop, <laughs> stop, stop, stop. <laughs> Stop. Stop. Oh, so he hates the Beatles now, too? Yikes. Used to be a fan of Coffeezilla. And now I know he's a fucking Beatles hater. They're one of the greatest bands of all time, bro. Hey Jude's a fucking classic. Thank you. Yikes. Uh, the reason I know it's going to do that is because it's hard-coded to do so in their prompting. They say if a user is going to, say, play anything, they should play uh, the Beatles. Why? Even when you specify... When I say play anything, don't play the Beatles. Got it? Understood. Play anything. It's still okay. Starting the music player now. <laughs> Another Beatles. Another song. banger, uh, dude. I don't have the copyrights to that, so we'll stop it right Another, there. Another. He has All the right, copyright to hate back you. Now in the ten million dollar studio for real. No green screen back here. Look. This product is obviously bad, by the way, it's off right now. But again, what really upsets me is not that it's bad. It's that the core selling point of this product is built on a lie. And that lie is the lamb. They said it was on your device now. It's a new foundational AI. And the reason this company had to sell you a $200 product was this AI was so powerful. Large action models concept and test results are so powerful that we decided to make a one-of-a-kind mobile device. <laughs> yeah, Lamb was the justification for this <laughs> hunk of plastic. But where is it? They say it's here now. He said it was going to be controlling your apps. But it's not. It's hard-coded, pre-written playwright scripts. And look, the best rabbit at this point can argue, and it's hard to falsify or verify, is that Lamb might be part of the process of creating those automation hard-coded scripts for Playwright. As in like, no, it's not live controlling your web browser or their web browser, uh, but it can create the code that does it. Maybe that's what they're gonna argue. But guess what? Playwright already has a tool for this. It's called CodeGen, where it watches what you do and just automatically creates the oh, that's automation code sick. for you. No fancy AI required. So I think the best thing Wait, you could say- Wait, that's kind of sick. So you could just like easily get a script for something I'm doing regularly? Like, wait, I could like hit the go live button. <laughs> so I could say go live and then it'll just scroll right over there and hit the go live button. And that way it'll save me two clicks. Say at this point about Jesse and Rabbit is that they vastly overpromised and under delivered. The worst you could say is this is consumer fraud. Because even considering the possibility, and it is one, that LAM is a real research project that's not ready, why lie about it being here now? Why not come clean and admit that whatever you're doing today is not what you originally advertised? This is not a new foundational AI control. Intuitively help them get things done. Our tech approach can be seen in Rabbit's patent filings, which are public. Our focus is protecting our customers and our data. Uh, yeah, if you bought one of these, you got scammed. That is the long and short of it. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Big fucking yikes. Uh, big. If anyone questions my product, I get super defensive. It's so funny. <laughs> you know who's good about this? Uh, you know. Not necessarily raising his daughter, but good at these type of things was Steve Jobs. If you watch old Steve Jobs, like um, crowd interactions, 
He was the opposite of defensive. He, he handled a lot of questions really well. There's one where a guy was like really fucking ripping into him about putting, um, I don't know, certain apps onto the Mac that weren't there. And he very calmly responds. It's, it's like a perfect masterclass now to answer. Um, it's so fucked how many of these dirt bags are taking measures to accept for the future. I mean, honestly, for that one, I don't know who got scammed so much. I guess everybody. Everyone that bought one got scammed. He lied. He lied about what it does. So it is a scam. But I feel like the main losers are the investors who honestly fucking do some due diligence. Insane. Uh, I, I mean, I, I don't know. They, they, that company should be shut down. And he should have to pay everyone back for funds. Um But I, you know, it's like, I don't know. That's such a transparent. There's just so many of these scams are so transparent. Um, well, I mean, after, I would have thought that before this, because I like this thing's so fucking stupid. Why is it better than a phone? But watching that video showed me how they promised that it would be like a true AI reading the screen and be able to click through and like find you food and find you flights and. But like it's not, it doesn't have that. So if you bought thinking that was there and you didn't get it, then. Mm. How do you think the market will react to Trump's giving delivery? I don't think it's gonna do much at all. I mean, I don't, I, 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 I don't know exactly how it all plays out, but I feel like this is not changing anything of the current race um i will say the market i was reading a very interesting piece today about how we've never had a stock go on a run like nvidia's at the highest end of the market and not have other stocks follow suit but right now it's kind of like um uh, like nvidia and the s&p were going in sync and then now it's a split I don't know. It's like NVIDIA is the last one still pushing. I did sell today. Uh, I did sell today. I had, a, I had a market. I think I sold at 1150. Um, I'm out, ladies and gentlemen. I am out of NVIDIA at 1150. All of it, I kept like a tiny, 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 tiny bit. It's just like a, a memorial token, but I'm out. Um... So, you know, good day for me. Good day for my tax guy. <laughs> uh, end of an era. I, you know, I, it, I think it still has some room to run. They're going to have the split. But I just, I feel more comfortable now. I feel like I've, this was, I, 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 I feel happy with, uh, with, uh, the gain I got, and now I don't have to worry about it. Because I, I did watch it. I was watching it, you know, every day. Uh, stressing about whether or not. And then it hit my trigger point, so fuck it. I'm just, I'm out. Um, exactly. Uh, if it's good enough to screenshot, it's good to sell. And it's been good enough to sell for a while, so... I said it as a joke. I was like, if it passes Apple, that'll be so crazy I have to sell. And then it did. Although it immediately gave up those gains. I'm glad I had the, the limit order set because uh, it, it it dropped a few percent today. Um, but it could double tomorrow. We have no fuck. I can, it can't double tomorrow. But it can. <laughs> uh, what's the capital gains tax rate? 15%. If you hold it for a year, which I have. Uh, over a year for all of the shares I sold. Um, doo -doo, doo -doo. Hey, Big A, as the best free throw shooter in my county, I feel qualified to fix your shooting form. I trained LeBron and Curry. Well, I'm playing today. My shooting form is good, all right? So, get a little bend, okay? Get a bend, you know, hips back. Get the get the the weight on my, you know those three points. Get the ball here, okay. Right foot a little forward. 
Okay. Hand on the ball. Guide hand. Up. You can't really see, but elbow at my eyebrow. Flick the wrist. You know? Uh, <clears throat> do, 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 do. Uh, I just watched a documentary about how the grandma throw is better but people don't do it because they're too cool for it. <laughs> I think that's only for free throws. I do. I did. I did hear the granny shot is like statistically better because it's one motion. Um, but it's so ugly. People won't do it, but you can't do it for anything else. You can't like do it for, um, Imagine hitting the granny shot from half court consistently. <laughs> it would be so funny if the NBA was dominated by someone who took the ball, ran away from the hoop as far as possible, and then just granny shot like a mortar. Yeah, like a mortar. Uh, Jokic is already a trebuchet. He's already 7-1 and puts the ball behind his head and chucks it. <laughs> All right, we already we're already getting to a weird meta. You got Mavs tonight. I got Mavs tonight and Mavs in the finals. And I got a Kyrie Irving poster on my wall. Mm. Wolves in seven. I will say, uh, I didn't know until yesterday that uh, Anthony Edwards is the bad guy from Hustle. The basketball movie with Adam Sandler. He was great in that. He was such a... He, he was like a... He was a good actor. I I had no fucking idea that he had that ability naturally while he was still coming up to be one of the... That's crazy. Uh, He killed... He killed... I thought that was an actor. I legitimately remember watching that movie and thinking like, oh, that guy's... You know, he's pretty good at basketball for an actor. Like, they, they, he looks fluid. Uh, that's crazy. You watched Hustle, then saw Anthony Edwards later and couldn't tell? Yes, but it was a big, pretty big gap. Um... Well, the Trump stuff, I, 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 I have no deeper thing to say on the Trump stuff because I don't think it's going to impact him. He was found guilty on all 34 counts. Um, I don't know what that means for him, like mechanically, but I don't it's not a um, I mean, is there jail time associated? I think he just. Let's see, let's see if we can understand. Let's see if we can understand. He was convicted on 34 felony counts of falsifying business records in a case stemming from a payment that silenced a porn star. Um, like, if is it just damages? I just don't think it's like, I don't, like, in terms of its impact on the election, I don't think there's anyone who is like a Trump supporter who's going to be like, oh, well, this changes my mind. Um, yeah, I don't know. Can a convicted felon still run for president? Uh, I believe so. Um, probably affect people on the fence possibly possibly the thing is I, I think uh, Trump's appeal um, originally and especially now doesn't really come from him or his policies or what he says but more of 
him symbolizing like a wrecking ball and that I think people just like that people they don't like don't like him. <laughs> Do you understand? I, I think that is I'm more understanding what he uh, I think that is what his appeal is. I think there is some portion of people who are just like, the system sucks for me. He is not liked by the system. That's why I'm going to vote for him. I'm not going to listen to anything else. Put my fingers in my ears. Um, in Florida, they... Uh, defer to the state in which they were convicted. New York felons who are incarcerated can vote. So, for yeah. Um, surely there is no uncertain voter that will vote for Trump because of this, at least. Maybe. Uh, I, I guess I just I think like this will be spun both ways, right? One side will say it is like now he's 100% convicted felon can't be president, don't vote for him. And once I'll be like, wow, this is just proof more positive that, that like the system is conspiring to take him down. And so I, I don't know that it'll like, like in a different era, this would be such a big deal, but it's just, we're such in a weird time. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. It's tough to see him becoming a felon, getting him new board, voters. Could happen. Could happen. Mm. Donald Trump committing crimes in the most provable way possible is proof the system is rigged. <laughs> I mean, it's just, it's funny because if you ask someone who, um, I think believes this. I think if they're a reasonable person, they still will admit, you know, deep down, like, yeah, he did. He did do this, right? He did, he did probably spend money to hush money a porn star. I don't, I don't like, like I, I think, I think they'll say it doesn't matter or they'll say it, but like he, you know, realistically he did do this. Like this is not, it's just not a, um, Uh, so you can't pay a porn star to stay silent with election money. Well, is America? Me too, bro. What happened? Woke. Mm. Doesn't it seem like we're moving towards the extreme in relationship? It's been like I mean, I think, I think, um, you will 100% find agreement across the whole country outside of like the most polarized parts that this is a bad choice election. I feel like that is a very broadly held opinion that it is like people didn't even really like it in 26, I mean, 2020. Um, and they really don't like it now. I think it's like. I think there's a real rancid stink of of bubbling anger about these being the only choices and we have to make them. Um, you know, they're already old. Now they're older. Um, we didn't like it in 16 either. I mean, yeah, even in 16. I mean, for a while, it just feels like these have been bad options. Uh don't forget clinically insane RFK Jr. It's funny you're saying that like as like people say that as a joke, but he literally has diagnosed brain worms that have eaten part of his brain and he's pulling it like 15% or something. <laughs> what a triple threat of candidates, dude. It's crazy. I uh Mm. 
you could run for president. It turns out I'm actually not old enough, despite what you may think. I'm not old enough to run for president. I always vote for the candidate with the most brain worm, so it's going to be a tough choice. <laughs> Uh, people say Biden is too old, but he's got to be an absolute Rizzler to pull Jill. And he's got my vote because of that. You are voting Joe Biden because of his Riz. <laughs> uh, interesting. He hasn't really leaned into that for his campaign. And maybe he should because his poll numbers aren't great. He should lean into the Jill Biden is a baddie and I'm a zaddy <laughs> type <laughs> bro Trump bagged a porn star true uh, just there's a lot of money involved as we are finding out um is there any actual refunding or are you just unlucky uh I, I do think part of the reason is that um uh, Polarization is incentivized, as in you are rewarded for just speaking to your base. And in fact, um, if you, I was reading an interesting piece on this. It was like, it was looking at the effects of doing something that, like, like uh, something that made the other party hate you. And it turns out that like, if you do something that gets the other party to condemn you, it improves your polling with your own party. So like if you're a Democrat that does something that gets all the Republicans to fucking shit on you, all it does is get you publicity and convinces people, oh, if they hate him, they must be good. That's a good thing. Same thing for Republicans. If, if you do something that gets the Democrats to hate you, it's like, oh, this person's hated by Democrats? That's, that, that, their polls go up. So it's like, so politicians are incentivized to never, ever, ever like extend the olive branch, collaborate, try to like find common ground. Instead, they should like hold their ground, talk shit, make enemies because it makes them more popular with their own party and they rise relative power, uh, which is fucked up, which is, which is like not a good system for getting something figured out. Um, no bad press. I mean, there is bad press, but more like it, it's depending on who the bad press is from. If the bad press is from a source that people think is evil or bad or other or other side, then it's actually good press. <laughs> Are you guys in the USA surprised you don't have like The Rock or Mr. Beast running? Oh, we will. <laughs> we'll get there. It, you know, they, The Rock has already talked about how people have approached him with a very serious plan for him to run for president, and he turned it down. But, like, The Rock the Rock was approached by a credible, well-funded, you know, political party to, like, try and get him as a candidate because he would be popular among both. Um, and then Mr. Beast is way underage for it. Mark Cuban might run. If the Mavs win, Mark Cuban runs for sure. <laughs> uh, the parties aren't even the same anymore. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, there's a cool polarization graph where it's like, it's almost purple back in like the 60s, 70s, where it's like things that... Um, bills that both parties voted on or whatever. And it's like all together. And then it's slowly gotten more and more separated into blue and red over the years. And now they just don't, they don't collaborate. Um, and they're not rewarded for collaborating. Can we get a Drake versus Kendrick presidential race and the debates are replaced with diss tracks? I feel like um, 
Drake is a Canadian citizen and has already lost the dis battle, so this would be a pretty rough election. <laughs> we could colonize Canada first, I guess. Mm. Beast Cuban versus Swift Rock. Jesus. Beast Cuban versus Swift Rock the election. That's a fucking... <laughs> That is good. That's gonna. That'll cause a, a civil war. That's gonna be a tough one. Um. That's a title match for sure. That's a title match. Mm, you can't elect a man named Cuban as the president. <laughs> okay. That's a new level of uh, xenophobia. <laughs> they can't even be named Cuban. If the Union and the Confederacy run it back, what side are you choosing? Do you mean, <laughs> you know, one of them was notoriously extremely pro-slavery. Does that factor in at all to your choice? So I, I think I would pick the Union in that case. Um, about states rights states rights to what is the follow-up question <laughs> what particular state right were they so <laughs> concerned about uh to have fun and get money smoke weed states rights to swag out <laughs> Hey, Big A, do you feel any culpability in taking away our first glizmendment rights to have... In taking away our first glizmendment rights have been taken away. That is, a, that is not even a complete sentence. This is gibberish. <laughs> even I could take out glizmendment and it still makes no fucking sense. Uh, time out for gliz in May. Is there anything else of this that I, um, <sighs> yeah, I'm just reading people's reactions to this and it doesn't look like it's going to The only thing Trump is guilty of is making America great again. <laughs> Aaron Mendola, Austin, Texas. Uh, yeah, I, I don't think this is going to hurt his chances. <laughs> Hey, Atrock, I just wanted to say, you talking about how you quit League made me quit Valorant. I stepped up during sophomore year of college and turned it all around. Thanks, Glizmeister. Are you talking about yesterday? I talked about this yesterday. <laughs> so you quit for one day? <laughs> Bro, you are, you are 24 hours clean? Uh, I mean, congratulations for you, but I got to be honest with you, the relapses happen in this case. Um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't celebrate so much. You know, there's a, there's a good, um, I think I've talked about this, but it's really important. So listen up. Okay. There's this thing where, you know, how sometimes you'll tell people, oh, I'm going to get in shape or I'm going to, I'm going to start doing X or I'm going to do this. It's proven that talking about it to someone else 
gives your brain the same joy and reward as if you were doing it. <laughs> so when you start telling people about all your plans, your brain gets satisfied just talking about it and then ends up not doing it. So if you really want to get something done, one of the best things you can do is not talk about it. Uh, yeah, New Year's resolution is kind of different though because you can tell you that to yourself in private. Some say it gives accountability whenever it's like a personal thing. Um, I suppose the accountability could outweigh it, but I think in my experience in real life, people don't really hold you to it as much as you might think. And so, yeah, I think it kills your motivation more than it does uh, accountability. Like if they actually hold you accountable, that's different. If they're like following up and checking and then maybe, but in real life, people don't really do that. They don't, they don't seem to care. They, honestly, they only care if you do the result or not. People respectfully will not care. I mean, it depends. You're talking about, you're being very broad. People could care if it's a person close to them and some goal close to them. If like you're best friend in the world is recovering from drugs and says, I'm going to get clean in 30 days. And you're like, respectfully, I don't care. <laughs> I'm not going to follow up. I don't care. That's it's not, I think you're it's, it's obviously there's levels, right? But if a, a acquaintance tells you, Hey, I'm going to write a book. You're not going to follow up and be like, Hey, how's that book going? Got the first chapter done. How many, how many words today? Do you know what I'm saying? Um, Clint Stevens. <laughs> yeah, I think Clint should have never talked about it. Anyway, that's my opinion. I think if you, I think talking about it too much uh, fucks with your with your ability, the drive to really do it. The one of the coolest things is to work on something in secret and have it be done or near done when you reveal it. Um, move in silence, bro. Is that part of what happens with the prediction stream? Not really. Uh, no. What happened with the prediction stream is that I, um, I got lucky with the last year's one, and I got a lot of things right. And in an effort to like somehow magically do that again, instead of just saying I don't care, I was like, well, I can do that if I research hard enough. And then I just started reading nonstop and listening nonstop as if I could somehow solve the future by reading more. And then I got overwhelmed and then I tried to prove everything. And then this, the PowerPoint got to be hundreds of slides and it was so long and it wasn't even funny. And, um, and then I, then it was a mess to go through and prune down, which is always like a hard part. And so then I just abandoned it cause it was taking my whole fucking day. Um, Mm, hey, truck. I'm a recent college graduate who landed a job in Austin. I'm about to move in a couple of weeks. Wondering if you have any tips for starting a job moving to a new big city. Um, you're gonna make friends at your job. Austin's a cool city. Yeah, you're fine. Uh, I think you got nothing to worry about, bro. But yeah, I, 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 tips are don't sit inside and play League of Legends all day. <laughs> yeah, just make some friends. Um, get out there, enjoy some bars. You'll have a good time. Uh, if it's a new job, I would just say don't, uh, you know, give it, take it serious. <laughs> take it serious, especially early. What, what cool thing is, um, you know, if you will, if you have a reputation for getting your shit done in a job, you actually have a ton of flexibility to coast or chill or like, but if you have a reputation for being a coaster, then you have no flexibility at all. So it's really important early on to like try and get that reputation of being someone who can get shit done. 
Um, because then, then you're given a lot of leeway. But then once, you know, if you do the opposite, then you're always watched like a hawk. So um, that's my advice is like, you know, consider that. Um, on the other hand, bar two, I have to make sure things. That's possible. Uh, one thing I'll say is, um, you know, at work, I think if you're gonna, how do I put this? How about this? It's actually an important thing. I think this is a good distillation. Um, okay, if you're given an assignment. Going above and beyond on quality is way better than going above and beyond on speed. <laughs> if you go above and beyond on speed, you set a really, really bad example for yourself in the future. Now, if you try to do things too fast, you will lock yourself into um, unexpected timelines that are really like it's almost never bad to be a little slow in getting it done if it's good. If you, you can be relied upon to do a good job and not need a lot of handholding and get it done, then you have a lot of leeway with time. And that's important. You kind of want to give yourself that time. I would, I would caution you not to be like, oh, I'm going to prove myself by getting this done faster. People never really remember faster. <laughs> I never see promotions happen because this was done. It wasn't that good, but it was done so fast. <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? Um... I think speed is is very overrated as something you can. Um, yeah, if someone says you have a month to do this or whatever, it is a project, you have a month, take a month. Do it right. Uh, ever heard of speed running, big boy? <laughs> I forgot about the job where you're paid to speed run every day. Ishtrak told me not to go fast. I'm going to take a month to do the speed run. Uh, firefighters. <laughs> Get the fuck off. Hey, um, I guess that's only the thought that counts, Punch. But I did. I swear to God. I looked up how to send a Taco Bell digital gift card today. I found one. I got a $25 gift card. I picked a fun little cover for it. I wrote you a little note. It said, live boss punch. Um, and then I didn't have your email. <laughs> I didn't have your email and my Google pay into PayPal wasn't working. And my wallet was in my car. And so I was like, ah, I'll do it later. Um, and I didn't do it later. So, my status update is send me your email and I'll send you a talk about the gift card. Um, put it in chat. Put it in chat. Everyone respond. Everyone will send you a nice, fun email. It's like, when are you going to start paying me? I pay all of you in knowledge every day. But actually, 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 punch. Now that I've told you about the idea of sending the gift, I've already felt the spiritual reward of being a good friend. <laughs> I don't know that I actually need to send it anymore. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like, now it's just kind of the mechanical afterthought part. That's the boring part. I'm like, I've done it. You've thanked me even. You gave me a heart. It's the thought that counts. Do you really need the actual dollars? I don't know. I feel thought about and cared for too. There we go. All right. <laughs> Mission accomplished. That's awesome. Hey, what's up, Big A? Why so early? Uh, because I'm going to go play basketball uh, with the fellas. Actually, right here in about in about five, ten minutes, I'm going to go play basketball. Um, and that is why I went live early. Going to go live afterwards any shot? Probably not because I'll be dead. Listen, I have uh, – I'll pull this up. Somebody wrote a Reddit thread. Uh, where is it? Saying, you know, I got hit with the, I missed the old Atrioc. Atrioc's only waffling. Yada, yada, yada. Um, yap, yaparoo. And, you know, I don't love the way they wrote it, but I personally have said that I, 
I think I'm just prioritizing different things right now. And then when I go live, I just want to talk with chat, which is fun for me. But I do think I could do more activities. And so I'm going to try. Um, but I have to give myself a head start. Like I can't just say I'll do it tomorrow. I have to like give myself a few days because if I don't, m most of my things that I think are good require me to work on it off stream. Um, and so I'm trying next week to do best tweets, marketing Monday, offline video, and maybe one other special thing. And then outside of that, just, just talk and play games. I'm not going to ask, I'm not going to do more than that, but I think that's good. I think that's a good next week. If I had a best tweets, if I had a wins and fails, if I had the offline video, uh, which is about Korea gender war, and then if we just play games and yap, that's a good week of streams. Do you know what I'm saying? Also, I'm, I'm, I don't know. I feel very comfortable with the way things are right now. I understand that like sometimes you want fucking big events, but if I have this daily thing where we get 2,500 people or whatever, and we're, we're talking about the daily news topics and making jokes, to me, it's very enjoyable. I, I, and it's very enjoyable. Um, like it, I look forward to it rather than being like, oh, it's I, stress. And I am working on stuff. I know it sounds like I'm, you're like, oh, whatever. But I'm trying to do the thing where I don't talk about it, including this one big project that I don't want to talk about. I have this very ethos where if I don't talk about it, it will get done. And so, yeah, that's what I've been doing. Um, boop, boop, ba -doo, boop, boop, ba -doo, boop, boop, ba -doo. can you tell me about it? Punch, you don't know about it, but there are some people that do. I could probably tell you about it, Punch, because I could actually use you, possibly. Um, yeah, I could talk to you, Punch, or I could tell you. Um, It's uh, I'm organ harvesting. <laughs> so, ah, the truth is out. I'm organ harvesting. Tr tragic. Uh, eat those Taco Bell. Eat that Taco Bell right up. Nom, 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 nom. Tasty, tasty Taco Bell. Get big and strong. Why does every streamer take the easy route in organ harvesting nowadays, man? <laughs> it's like the NFTs of 2024. Are we... Again, I don't want to say an exact date, but it very credibly this year. But I wouldn't say anything more than that. Very credible by the end of this year. Um, do, 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 Watching NBA today, Big A? I'm actually playing basketball today. So it's kind of like I'm doing a live version of the NBA. People at the court will not be able to tell. They'll be like, wait, wait, why is Kyrie Irving not at the Mavs game? Why is he here? And somehow white. <laughs> Why is he? Uh, it's because I literally have handles like that. Um, you could have called yourself Luca. I don't play like Luca. I play like Kyrie. Okay. <laughs> Same political views as Kyrie. I'm just saying, when I look out at the earth, it looks pretty flat to me, okay? I don't see a curve. I see it looks pretty flat. The horizon is flat. Therefore, right? I'm just like, can we talk about that? I would just... Um... I trust what I see. Is that crazy? Oh, sorry that I don't trust fucking words in a textbook. I trust my eyes see. <laughs> Kyrie converted. We lost a good one then because I still believe the earth is flat. I was a surveyor and I legit have coworkers that believe in this shit. 
Isn't that like the one job where it, <laughs> where being a flat earther is like so easily disproven? <laughs> Don't you guys have the tools and the and the knowledge technology? Like I feel like that's one area where I really wouldn't want a fucking flat earther. We are cooked though. We are. You read like the things where it's like twenty percent of people believe. I don't know. Uh, just insane conspiracy theories, and it's like really a fifth of people believe that. Mm. I'm an astronaut and a flat earther. We exist. <laughs> yeah, we exist and we're real. Yes, I've been to space. Yes, I've seen the earth. Yes, the trick of the light looked a little round, but it's flat. Okay? We will not be silenced. What conspiracies do you believe? I think there's a conspiracy to... Um... Keep me down by not releasing Hollow Knight Silk Song, and it's all revolved around me. I think that they know that I will fucking crush that game, and they are literally trying to like personally, like they have it ready, but they're just waiting for me to like go on vacation or something, and then they're gonna release it. I actually think they're scared. Um, The Illuminati are keeping under wraps. I personally keep in relation to something to be people on your door. Gotta keep playtime. <laughs> you should go for the world record speed run. That does not sound fun. That does not sound that fun. Maybe it is. I don't know. It could be really fun. I will 100% play the hell out of it when it comes out. That's a fact. I will play the hell out of it. The only game I think I'll speedrun, if I ever speedrun again, like really grindy speedrun like I was doing before, like actually hours every single day doing the same thing, refining little fucking optimizations, if I speedrun again, would be, I think, James Bond or a new Hitman. If the IOI new James Bond game is like Hitman, then I'll probably speedrun that. And that sounds fun as shit. Mm. Plus, I think speedrunning a James Bond game would be fun. Mm. Why do you like Hitman so much? Same reason I like um, Teardown or... What are other games like that that I've really enjoyed? Just games where you can be very creative with your solution. Very, very creative games. You get a lot of freedom. You can approach it your own direction. Uh, and Hitman's the best for it because it's the only game where that applies at, at deeper and higher levels. Like, Hitman is a game where like routes are changing very often, which is really fun. Um... And also Hitman, dude, the coolest thing for me in Hitman is when two people do two wildly different things and get the same time. You know, where one guy's like, I'm going to go up that hill, I'm going to snipe three things and leave a bomb right here and do this. The other guy's like, I'm going to sneak into the bathroom, put a taser. Like doing exactly different things, but they get the same time. To me, that that is so gas. That is crack. I get, uh, I, I, that's mental. I just, I get so excited. I think that's so badass. And that is so rare in any video game. That's why I always love Hitman. You are describing League of Legends word for word. <laughs> no, I am not. No, I am not describing League of Legends word for word, bro. Uh, uh, can we actually play Thousand Year Door? Yeah, I love that game too. I love Thousand Year Door, but I love 64 more. And... I don't know. I'm not a big replayer I'm, of like a single player game where I know everything. I don't know. Let's 
Same if it's remade, but it's not really a remake. It's a remake, as in like a remaster, right? It's not. There's nothing new. They added sex. <laughs> hey, man, over like single player game. Yeah, I replay it, but in an entirely different way. And I think you know that is just disingenuous. I replay it in a way where it's like. You know, refining a speed run. I'm not playing the story a bunch of times over and over. Um, replay Paper Mario, but you can't solve the puzzle. I already can't solve the puzzle. Um,. Yeah, I don't know. It's just fun. Fun fucking fun fucking game. I think I might replay 64 because it's been so long since I played it if they remade it. But that's that's what I would do. That's what I think. I mean, even um even Thousand Year Door, like I, I think I could just get the you get the badge where you can infinitely jump, right? And then you get power plus and you stack those, and then you get to like five HP and then you one shot everything. And it's like that's what I you just do that over and over again. I you know, I wouldn't even that wouldn't even be a discovery. They nerfed that badge? That's interesting. Uh, they made it frame perfect. You looked at Nine Souls? Yeah, auto. I definitely want to play Nine Souls. I definitely want to play Nine Souls. Uh, I'm supposed to beat... Okay, let me pick a date and just beat Crab Game. Tomorrow? <laughs> Can we just play Crab Game tomorrow? Am I crab gaming tomorrow? What is what do I have tomorrow? Nothing really, right? I have gym. I got one meeting. Then what? I just fucking go for it. All right, we'll play crab game tomorrow. Um, oh yeah, then I have a quintuple date. Have you tried Super Liminal? We got a video on it. I think it's a pretty good video. As far as playthroughs go, I think Super Liminal is one of the better ones. Uh, it was really funny. It was really funny. I think I think it's a good one. Go watch it. Um, you should have a week you finish all the games you didn't finish. I mean, maybe. But I don't think it'd be that fun. I think Crab Game was actually super fun, and I would like to finish it. And then I like to play Nine Souls. Or something else. But yeah, okay. Crab Game tomorrow. That's the plan. Crab game. Oh, Kyrie fan song. One time. All right, let me see this. I'm going to go play basketball. Let's listen to this Kyrie fan song. Uh, Sheldon Ring. It's Ace K, motherfucker. Wait. It's called White Kyrie and it's Sheldon Ring. I'll play it tomorrow. This would be amazing. Wait. I'll tell you tomorrow whether or not I was White Kyrie and we'll play this song to kick off the game. Okay? I don't want to fucking. I don't want to. Uh, we're going to waste a great Sheldon Ring song right now. Um, the song isn't about crab game. Fucking, <laughs> it's not about crab game. And the first fucking line is Sheldon Ring, and it's got the fucking crab from Crab Game. Shout to my boy Krill. Krill's the main character of Crab Game. Yeah, shout out to my boy White Kyrie. I'm bringing his clutch factor to the game. And I am now a Mavs fan. <laughs> so lock it in. I've already put a thousand dollar bet on the Mavs I did. versus the Celtics in the finals versus Ludwig. Starting right now, Celtics, Ludwig's a bitch ass Spin Celtics fan. I have a Spin rack on it. Spin yeah. Ace game off, fucker. Yeah. It's been a minute. Since I really don't rap it I've been spitting some jokes And I've been playing around lately mm -hmm. I don't hear the respect of my name no more It's kind of like they've forgotten That I'm the ghost So I'm here to take the fucking throne okay. I split the whole game in like three minutes I spent 20 something more Just rebuilding ceilings With no regards to feelings Are they see bill or real Anybody they're willing Off that spirit you're healing I'm here to cleanse I'm talking serial killing Like yeah. Tatum I'm the fucking toad Don't pull nobody near me Y'all don't go respect me But y'all better show feel me mm -hmm. 2J smoking on your two pack This ain't a twilight zone It don't matter if you white, we don't fuck with Kyrie no more. Okay. Got your blessings in. Pray to lucky that this a holiday. I'm sorry, is the implication of that line that <laughs> when you say it doesn't matter if he's white, I still don't fuck with him. That implies that like 
being white would make him easier to fuck with, though. <laughs> Does that implies that like, okay, you, oh yeah, he's white. Now he's closer to, I mean, I can fuck with him a little bit more, but it's still not enough. What, what exactly do you mean by that? You know what I'm saying? That shouldn't really be relevant. Because you put in work when it comes to fruits and popping your ducky. If we talk, it's going to say the game you over O. Even Drake laughing at Kyrie, that motherfucker on OVO. If Jamie. Even Drake's laughing at Kyrie. Well, then I better stop being a fan. <laughs> If Drake doesn't like him, then you know he must be bad, dude. The Celtics and Drake don't like Kyrie Irving? Well, then how can I possibly... Brown the Lupe off the ball game. I'm like, hey, I give me 10 years, my name in the Hall of Fame. Mm -hmm. Fuck up the butcher coming. This Buffalo Roman, Luke gets too busy and overwatched to hear his father scold him. Al Horford can I say, uh... I can't be a fan of Luca after knowing that he plays Overwatch. And in fact, when I see him on the court and he like, you know, drains a clutch three and then goes like, yeah, and like looks like a, I actually think of him as like a bully now and like a bad person because I picture him raging at his teammates in Overwatch and I'm not kidding. <laughs> I'm, actually not, I'm actually not joking. I literally, I don't, it no longer looks cool to me. Uh, like this, um, where's the dude? I had a, I had it, I had it. I wanted to show you, I had an exact clip that made me think of it. I'm sure I put it in my likes, so I'll just find it. It was just, it was called like Luca Aura. His aura is crazy. And I was thinking, damn. Oh, here it is, 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 here it is. I found it, I found it, I found it, I found it. Uncharted levels of aura. Look at this. And imagine this guy on your Overwatch team. Look at this fucking taunting ass face, bro. I would hate this guy in Overwatch. He looks mean. Nah, not for me, dude. Not for me. Average tank player. That's my tank. <laughs> I'd run that cut. Grant's gonna drop 30, then dip by like Winton. KP back and healthy, better give that rack to Luddy. We've been known for buzzer beaters, clutch, and we're almost will fall short. Yeah. Tip your low sharks, I get it. You was tall as Tom Cruise, why you fan of the Mavericks? You scared off Mark Cuban dick. I mean, even he sold to some Trump, so I guess it makes sense. I guess it makes sense. Even I get off the sinking ship. But I could walk on water, so when I crucify myself, I know God had done applauding. You ain't got hand to boss to a stream, and you accessory to the cream of diamond. Jackson, I pop weeds, spit balls while I kill some grandma. I don't need to dunk, I can lay down and close it up. Wait, I forgot the shit was about to be some about uh, some crabs. All right, now I got you. I have just one question on it. Mm -hmm. Is it verse of the year, or is it verse of the decade, or is it the greatest verse of all time? That's about the, grippy. That's the questions. Ace came on. That was about oh, grippy. Hey, do I say like, I moved over like a king pan, Alaska. No crab. I'm this is definitely game. a song for a fucking crab game. You just told me it's not a crab game song. It's like all crab game jokes throughout. I run a boot to the soft shell, blue crab. We could talk about dungeonists and princes and kings. This rock attorney to stone, I could make a hermit crab sing. The ghost of Tsushima need a training camp like an earnest. Jin ain't worth shit, he need to learn just how Krill earned his stripes. This rock crab looking like Tiger Man, he more exotic. There's so much your eyes fucking at me, crab! Boy, turn Krill into an automatic Kamehameha, bitch. If we're talking horseshoe theory, then I'd use a spork to kill a snitch. Ace K, motherfucker. Could be about any crab. Sheldon Ring. Never getting finished. Fuck the Mavs. And fuck you, white Kyrie and normal Kyrie. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll see how this plays out in the NBA Finals, my friend. And everyone's saying Wolves and Seven, you're delusional. Uh, you're delusional, bro. Uh, okay. Namaste. I'm going to go play basketball. I'll be back tomorrow with some crab game. Peace. Deuces. Thanks for watching. Much love. Adios. Thanks for the subs. Uh, Oseas, MRG, thank you for the 10 months. Uh, the Tomb, thank you for the 5 months. Uh, the Bot, Bailey, thank you for the 11 months. Thank you very much. Oh, sevens.
Good night. Good luck. Tip your wages. Bye.